Last time on As Above So Below, uh, we had a drinking Rubble. party with the doors. Literally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no metaphor there. Uh, the door, the door. The god Ball uh, reached out to Serafina. Uh, oh, yeah, that was thing. He was balling all right. Uh, Big ball. Demon <laughs> had his brain scrambled by an eldritch god. I don't know how I survived that. <laughs> Your wisdom roll. Um, yeah, because of a nat 20. You're I'm only nat sure. 20. Yeah, I never roll nat 20s. I think I've, like, over the course of this entire campaign, I've probably rolled, like, four. Wow. If that. <laughs> I've rolled, like, shit constantly. You know, uh, the party as a whole uh, found out that they had been watched partially by gods we for like at least shooting. a while. Um, yeah. Just kind of live. We confirmed it. Are you able to like your mic just sounds kind of low compared to everybody else? Mine? Yeah, there you go. Now now it's fine. Okay, sorry. I had the mic stepped away because You're good. There we go. So uh we had the party as a whole realized that they were being watched because Demon finally used a skill that I knew was going to be used for that. Um and it wasn't even whole... going to be used for that. I was looking. I was like, maybe there's some uh, shady things in there telling me about that I can buy. <laughs> oh, there's an eyeball watching me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> the party got to have story time and realized that there may be a connection between <laughs> Serafina's corpse of an ex yeah. and the spear of Osmodeus. <laughs> Why did it take us? I didn't so like long? that. <laughs> it took us so long to I put two like and two all. together. He literally has a spear. Yep. He literally yeah. has a spear. And now it guys, makes sense I, why you told me he had a fact, spear when I drew fact. him. Yeah, fun guys, fact. I, uh, I never dead. decided I he had a spear. That was like, like mm. Lester said, that was all her. That was all her. I no, you told me he had a spear. You said you wanted him to have a weapon that would like make him like stick out and stuff you had originally yes, given yeah. the idea of like a large sword or a spear and i was like I a spear sounds i don't remember cool. this at all <laughs> <laughs> it was plotting from the beginning i don't and remember this at all i remember you told me had a spear in the beginning in the beginning in the beginning Sounds like a cobalt telling a bedtime story. Um, <laughs> or better yet, a cobalt telling the seriously accurate origin of the universe and everyone thinking it was a weird, cracked out story. Um, <laughs> but the party themselves are now in their own like little multi-storied house, you know, Yay. with a bellhop that is a red cap. Um, oh, yeah. You guys found a bunch have, of hidden entrances. You know, yeah, you found a bunch of hidden entrances. You found a shit ton of fucking alcohol in the basement. Um, apparently, Schaefer left y'all uh, some stuff. A bunch. A bunch of alcohol and stuff so that y'all could party. Uh, recognizing that y'all are stressed the fuck out. And this week, we have a returning uh, cast member and returning party member. Rose! Rose! Everybody no scream, everybody scream. I'm not fishing no more, baby. <laughs> I Aww. am Victory Duffy. screech. <laughs> Victory screech. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, for story purposes, Rose was out uh, because of real life stuff. And we said that she was out trying to defend a kingdom from uh, overthrow. And so what we're going to do for a little bit here is just kind of, it's not going to be full on role play just because I, I unfortunately haven't had time to work with Rose 101 for that kind of stuff. And uh, the amount of time, obviously, that uh, the character had been stepped away. What was your character's name again? Was it like Samuel or something, you know? Um, Listen. <laughs> Listen <laughs> here. <Who's> Sam? <laughs> but, uh... Sam had uh, been away, so we're going to do some basic rolls here. Uh, first off, I need you to grab your percentile die, which are the two d10s. The one the that is two d10s. Okay. Um, God, so the... much shit has happened since you've been gone. Oh yeah. Holy fuck. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. 
awesome. Like, not enough sitting here thinking worse. about it. Oh, boy. I <laughs> love how that instantly was just... <laughs> and the true. I think we're we're net positive after that entire month. Can we get an inspiration for that? <laughs> <laughs> No, My no, no. But I swear to God, I would I would kill for a Fron animation of him singing since you've been gone. Um, <laughs> you do it too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two kind of legit He's question though. New... If, what? if Sam becomes queen of the ocean, does she get an inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> so you will not become queen of the ocean right now. God damn it. Uh, okay. <laughs> we're right. If, That's I get, it. if I get my uh my birthright, do I get an inspiration point? <laughs> Because if know, that's but... the case, bitch, I'm an inquisitor, so give me mine. <laughs> I get all my memories back. Do I get an all inspiration? Right, so I need you to take your 2D10 rose. I miss y'all so much. <laughs> okay, I'm um, rolling. All right. I want chat to know. I want chat to know that music is a very ingrained part of this group, and expect this. For the we rest don't want to have we... one brain cell, but the but computer is a demon. I love that all of us just have fucking like little trigger words that'll send us off. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. I cannot just tell sleeper, you how many times when I am phrases. out in the normal world and people just <laughs> say shit that trigger it, I have to physically restrain myself to right. not vocally <laughs> say <I'm> completely <laughs> understand, like vibrating, like. Mm. <laughs> uh, the yeah. best one, the best one, the best one that gets that gets back all the time. Piggy dipping. Piggy, piggy dipping at the piggy pond. Now that you is dashy shooting and you're going to go home and get your toes in there. <laughs> How dare you, dude? <laughs> Okay, not any okay. sentence to finish that. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's just have fucking sleeper agent code. Oh my Jesus god. Fucking Christ. <laughs> We're but, uh, normal. Rose, what did you roll? Okay, so for the, the little D10, it was a six. For the big one, it was uh, the double zero, so a 100. Or whatever that translates Ooh. to, whatever you're having. Just, the double six, zero translates to a zero when you just get, oh. Uh, when you just get, oh. Uh, when you get a number, yeah. So she rolled a six. Oh, a okay. Six. So I rolled a six. Yeah. Okay. Woo! How much do we need? Six. six. <laughs> Hundred. <Woo! laughs> and how much do I need to pass? Six. <laughs> Hundred. You need six hundred to pass. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty <laughs> accurate, actually. Because I was. Mm, oh man. Rose. <laughs> I. <laughs> Sam. Done. Oh no! Oh, I was Sam, having you Sam. roll. Can I call you Sambo? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, 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 you well. Uh, ooh, Sam. Like Sam, not well. That's what this is right. Yeah, now. you know what? Right. <laughs> uh, tell me, tell me, so Sam, that are my first eyes roll? bleeding? I feel like I'm bleeding from my eyes. <laughs> that first roll, um, Sam, yeah. was supposed to be how far you've progressed. Oh. Unlike, oh. <laughs> Doing shit and helping oh. and saving people. Oh no. no! You've been gone for almost a month in game. I think I and you two only did you to start days. off. I want, I want you to know. I want you to know. I want you to know. You started off at thirty-seven percent. Okay. I rolled that. I rolled that start. I rolled that start. Did six. No, I'm trying, no, no, okay, no, 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 no. You don't. Okay, You're everyone gonna pause. Have to explain hey, that. DM Hello. real quick. DM real quick. DM real quick. And let me clarify. You started off at 37, and what you rolled is where you're at. At oh. six. Oh, yeah. There has been not an improvement. progress. Wait, okay. you backtracked? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you're going to have to explain to the crew that you only did six and abandoned them for two months. Oh, no. What crew is going to come back and just be like, so, it's, it's going like, to be a like, mutiny. Okay. It's like, okay, it's okay. time to ship out. Where's the crew? Uh, we have Cookie. <laughs> And Don, oh, kind of. Fron, the Fron count. Finger on nose. Finger on nose. like, no, I'm out. <laughs> Before I left, I did have one inspiration point in my pocket. Can I use that? Ooh. Hey, yo. Yes. Oh. Okay. Woo! 
So that inspiration point, because these are percentage dice, you can choose one of two things. You can choose a guaranteed twenty okay. percent increase. Okay. So it'd be twenty six, and that means you lost about eleven percent of your success. So you started okay. off in a good spot, you went bad, but went too bad. Or you can roll the percentile die again, like from scratch. From scratch. Okay. So roll both guaranteed from scratch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can either get a guaranteed ninety nine twenty uh, percent or. Or you take whatever you get next. Hey, it's up to you. I do the re-roll, girl. I'm yeah. gonna do the re-roll. <laughs> I'm gonna do the re-roll. 99, uh, 99, 99, six, 99. Right? Okay. Yeah. If I get a win, yeah. I swear to One. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, zero. <laughs> oh, <Jesus>. <laughs> <laughs> I get one, Sam's not going back. She just died. She died down there. <laughs> Ideas. So my yeah. new character is Bumble Scumble Dumble. I make moves <laughs> in the woods. Okay, Garam's, okay, Garam's okay, 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 okay. So two okay. and seventy. Two and seventy. Damn. Okay, seventy-two. Okay. Okay. We like that. That is so much better. Um, oh so much better. <laughs> All right. So you started off at thirty-seven percent, and you went to seventy-two percent. So I need you. Yes. Either as Rose or as Sam to explain to me what your goal was for being down below in the seas. So my goal was specifically, at least in this moment, because um, Sam and the rest of the refugees that have had left with Blue um, were currently in hiding, trying to find a way to raise ranks and essentially take the throne back from the usurper. Um so her goal in this was to, one, <clears throat> track down any enemies that would be in our path, and two, draw ranks from other kingdoms or points of bodies within the ocean as means of retaliation to the usurper. Okay. All right. So I need three rolls from you for that. Okay. 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 I need a insight roll. Okay. I need me... a wisdom roll. And I will need a persuasion roll. Okay. Let me pull up my stats for that. Okay, I'll pull up persuasion because that's what's in front of me right now. And I do have a plus 12 in persuasion. Okay, so I rolled a 10. So plus 12 is 22. Dope. And then what else did right? you... Yes, and then you said you needed wisdom and what else? And Okay. Okay, so insights in front of me, which is a plus one. 18 plus one, 19. That was uh, insight? Yes, that was insight. And then wisdom. 15 plus one, so 16. Okay. Those are not bad good rolls. Rolls. Those are good not rolls, bad good rolls. Good rolls. Good rolls. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. So the reason I asked for these things, because when it comes to war... People are looking to you as not a fighter, per se, but as a leader, mm -hmm. as someone who will step up, okay? <laughs> and as someone who That's will go ahead, <laughs> as someone who will go ahead and do what is necessary. We'll get to that later, my God. To, <laughs> to protect those around them and lead your people. Now, because of everything that has gone on with the crew and because of everything else, this was a little bit higher for you. Mm -hmm. because you've been torn between multiple worlds. Um, some of which you weren't even aware that you were torn between until recently. And so allegiances had to be decided and decisions had to be made. That doesn't mean you made the wrong decisions. That doesn't mean that you were, uh, you made bad choices or did, or did anything wrong. It just means that your character had a conflict, made a decision. And because they've been torn between their loyalties to their, party and their loyalties to this country and their blood versus the blood they chose and the blood they have um i made it a little more difficult for you to leave mm -hmm. these, these are not people that know you these are not people that uh, uh know who you are they see you they do in fact see you and they recognize that you have blue backing you um but the loyalty is to blue above all else you have yet to earn the trust of these people. Even with a month with them, it's only been a month and it's been war. Mm -hmm. And these people are losing house and home and everything to an insurgency. 
but these rolls are good. Your your wisdom roll being your lowest is still a 16, which is still above the average, which would be a nine, you know, um, a negative to that. Um, so you, your, your wisdom has shown that you are learning that people's loyalties are to themselves at times. You're learning to trust people to do what's necessary and to unite people as a crew despite their differences. As Sam, can you give me an example of this kind of moment? I want you to kind of come up with a story and tell us how you might have figured out how to unify people despite the fact that they themselves do not want to unify. Like, so just for perspective, right? Yeah. Um, so are you talking about specifically in, like, what I would have experienced down there? Like, an example yes. of how I... Okay. Um, so at least from the perspective that Blue has given me over the years, that there are really no sanct or sanctioned um, camaraderies in the ocean. It's one kingdom and one kingdom and one kingdom. Um and they live in harmony within themselves and they don't venture on beyond beyond themselves. And if nothing else, they don't mix whenever it does come into play like that. Um, so my example of that, I guess, um, would be trying to find or trying to convince them that despite the differences between them, despite what their ancestors, despite what their grandfathers, grandmothers, fathers, mothers, whatever, have taught them to see as differences between them and the others, that all of that fades away and it's not really important when everything else is at stake. And hold on, my desk just fell apart. Hold on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, sorry, my there was like a little shelf that... Like, like just fell down um anyway um so that's really her goal in all of this is not really to rectify their differences because you know that's their differences are less important than the monster than the head of the snake that we have to defend our homes against because if we continue on this path, then there is going to be no home to defend. There is going to be no differences. We're all going to be dead, so it's not going to matter anyway. Okay. All right. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Next is going to be your insight. Okay. Insight is understanding the world around you, understanding yourself, understanding the motivations behind people. And you've spoken to that with your wisdom. But I need to know, in a situation, uh, let's put it this way. You found yourself in front of you found yourself in front of what would be the equivalent of a noble above ground. Mm -hmm. He represents his kingdom and he has been offering aid to refugees fleeing from Blue's country. And you meet him asking for resources and support. Now he has an agreement with the new king that he can help people leave but he is not to do any more than that I want you to tell me how you would go about convincing someone in this situation to assist you and what do you think would be a motivation for someone like that someone who appears to be a noble but still wants to help people and is willing to wheel and deal to do so. Okay. Is it okay if I try to like talk to him directly? Yeah. Like, because that will just kind of help me get the words out. While I understand the position that this obviously puts you in, while I understand how what's right and what is. What is difficult are blended and, and intertwined. However, this is just one kingdom that has so easily fallen 
within a blink of an eye. And I ask you, regardless of where your loyalties lie, are you prepared for this kingdom to be his next stepping stone and the next and the next? And then where will that put all of us? Under one forced rule? When you say this to this noble, he's sitting at a table and you see that he has notes all across his his desk. He is Mm -hmm. sitting there in the moment, recognizing the amount of bloodshed he's looking at. And he looks at you and when you say these things, he is almost perplexed. You're not from around here, are you? No, I'm not. But I've seen my share of nameless bloodshed. He wants your kingdom. He wants Blue's kingdom. For now. We all stay in our own place. I'm curious as to what makes you think he would dare extend and create a war with the others. What is to stop me right now? From having all of my men, you are in my camp, my base, with my hundreds of men around me. What does this stop me from taking you to his door and ending this war outright, saving more lives than condemning? You want to have a war. You want to have an insurrection all after an insurrection. He's already put new generals in place. He has already slain hundreds. And you want to slay more. What is to stop me from making the quickest and shortest path to the least bloodshed right now? Nothing, I suppose. Nothing could stop you. It would be within your right. If you thought that that was the best... That the best move for your people to keep them safe. And they would respect you for that. But I ask you this. You speak in terms of bloodshed. This is all you've seen thus far. And it was easy for him to overthrow Blue's kingdom, our kingdom. And he was already in line for it. It was going to be no contest from him. He already had the knowledge of his people, the knowledge of his kingdom. So why would he take it in such a violent act? Unless he desired to take it outright for himself and move forward. This is not a question of who had the right to it to begin with. This is a question of outright and blinding ambition. And that kind of ambition is going to spread not and will not stop at just this kingdom. I will give you two gifts. I will give you two gifts right now. One, I will not turn you over. I will not give you to him outright, but he is already on his way. Two, I will give you a back door. I don't want any more bloodshed than necessary. And if you can give me your word, you in blue, that you will do the best you can to stop this bloodshed, to cease it as soon as possible, with as little blood as possible, then I will give you that back door and pretend you got out of here. Fighting, kicking, and screaming, and you just so happen to slip on by. I swear this to you on the memory of my mother.
than a contract we shall have. And he brings a... He has a soldier bring forth a slab of stone. And in it is carved two circles. And in the center is a language you do not recognize. You've been learning the language of your people, um, known as the siren song, as commoners would call it. And it is the language of those who are under the sea. And this is something that feels like the siren song. There's bits and pieces you've seen, but it is older than that. And he places his hand on one of the circles. Place yours, and the agreement shall be had. And she does. A light from this slab flashes and glows and it is bright and then suddenly there's the sound of stone cracking smashing and just turning to dust and you feel it in your lungs and you watch as this noble for whom we will call Fendrick for pun's sake <laughs> takes a deep breath the stone's dust entering his lungs and yours. And you can see on your heart, where your heart would be, a dagger appears. Rugged in shape and very blatant, but you know it's a dagger. You cause this war to take more than even one extra life than necessary. You will die where you stand. Do you understand that? Completely. While I may not be able to say my support out loud, you have me and my people to back you if the time comes. We are the Magus of the Sea. Do not abuse us. Understood? Understood. Go through the back. My soldiers will make sure that it looks like you tore through here. And scene. Your persuasion went into that uh, very much so. And you have successfully gained a secret ally. During the time to come, that was probably about two weeks into it. You began to rally people, but again, they seem to focus more on rallying under Blue than you. Because she has a name to it, you know? Mm -hmm. She's more well known. Do you choose to lean into that? Or do you choose to try to lead these people yourself? I will choose to try to lead these people myself. As you spend the next week prepping, you find that you have begun to make some friends, some allies who do depend on you. However, you have begun to have nightmares. These nightmares show a world asunder. They show a great horned behemoth reaching out of the corpse of a familiar face and consuming the land. The first night, you could barely remember, but by the third dream, it was as if it was something that had already happened. You woke up in a cold sweat. And you could hear the call of a familiar voice. And there seemed to be some sort of small horse-like, almost like a Kelpie, but it was so small, at your doorstep. 
it neighed and then left behind the corner. Do you follow? And I make a um what what's the term for it? It's been a minute. I'm so sorry. Um a um insight on that? You can. Okay. Better yet, because you haven't done one in a while. Vibe check. Oh, please. Vibe <laughs> check. Vibe check. check. Roll higher than me, please. And this so is just a flat 20, right? It's a flat 20 plus a d4. Flat 20 plus a d4, okay. We got an 11 on the d20. It's odd. And a two. 11 and a two. So. Oh, so 13. 13. Yeah. Okay, so it's odd, but you feel like something's calling you. You feel like it's it's okay to follow. Okay, and she will tentatively follow it. You swim past your door, and you see just the tail of the Kelpie real quick going around the far corner. Which is odd, because even though it took you a second to follow, the corridor it's going down is much longer than you would expect something small like that to swim in that time period. Right. And she'll, she'll, like, she'll continue to follow, but from a distance. You wait a moment, and you follow, turning a corner, and you find yourself in a cave. No longer in the small encampment, the abandoned building that you had taken up with your crew, your new crew, and your new soldiers. Blue had been really leaning into trying to get you to take the lead, and you had been doing so. But again, those nightmares take any moment you fall asleep, and you've been really tired recently. You find yourself in a cave, and you don't quite know where you are. But there is a footstep. The familiar sound of tailored shoes. Well, I do believe it is time for you to go ahead and go back. An old man closes a Ow. pocket watch and sticks it into his breast pocket. You will have six hours. But if you choose to stay here, your friends will not win their war. The two mannequins that seem to have appeared beside him twitch almost to the matching, the ticking of the pocket watch. Something that you can hear very, very clearly, despite the fact that you are still underwater. His hair does not move as if he is swimming. Instead, he walks as if he is on land. The ticking only seems to get louder. So what will you do? Sam, will you take this time to prep your team, abandon them to go help those you abandoned, or will you stay here, win this war, and lose the world? How much time do I have? Pops open his watch. Five hours, 57 minutes. 52. I will meet you back here. Don't worry about that. 45. You're still sleeping. It's time to wake up, Sam. It's time... to pick up what you put down. And he snaps his fingers and you wake up in your bed. Time is weird in the ocean. Obviously, it's just dark in a lot of places and most people just work as they see fit during the time frames they see fit and then they go to rest. But you do feel like it's the deep of the night. 
you've been sleeping in a makeshift cot blue in the same room as you. What do you choose to do? She's going to try to wake up Blue first. You do. Blue awakes, tired and a bit confused. Uh, Very much it shows that she hasn't been sleeping well dealing with all this. You're no longer near the border of your city. Instead, you're on the outskirts. Again, you had only been a week since you... No, only been three days since you last talked with that noble, Fendrick. Blue looks up at you. What is it, Blue? Um. I have to go. Go where? I have to go back. Uh, uh, back, back to. I. Remember when I told you about time? Hey, yes, the concept of time. The one who brought you to your friends. Yes, yes, yes. Um, he came to me just now. Uh, I, it's, it's a lot to explain. Um, essentially, if I don't go back, it's crucial that I go back right now. I am not done here. Been, you've been prepping. You've been trying to get these people to follow you. I know. If you had, if you had, I, if I take over, I can't guarantee they will back you at any point. That is a risk we have to take because, from what I was told, if I don't go back. It's not going to be about winning or losing the ocean. It's going to be about winning or losing the world. That is what's at stake here. I trust you. But you have only just barely begun to gain the trust of the men and women here. I know. And... It's something that I have to answer for up above as well. I'm strung between two worlds, and I can't lose either of them. Then I will offer you this. Do not come back until you can stay. If you keep coming and going, they will not view you as a leader. They will barely view you as an ally. They'll see it as something you can just come and go as you see fit while they bleed and die on the front lines. So do not come back until you can stay, Sam. I'm not saying that to be rude. I'm not saying that to be mean. It's just the truth. I know. And I swear this to you. Fine. Give me some time. Let's get up. We'll get the crew together. We'll get the the soldiers together. We will discuss some things. And with that, you will be free to go and do what you need to do. I have about five and a half hours. From what he told me. And you hear the tick talk in your brain as you realize that the sooner you leave, the better. But you have at least six hours to get back. Or I'm sorry, the five and a half. You're correct. You will take that time with uh, Blue to essentially set up a a long-term plan, a place to meet uh, if ever you're able to come back. You take the time to 
disseminate the jobs and to explain to everyone that you need to go back because there is another war brewing that could make this war nothing. And that persuasion of 22 allows for you to go ahead and have these people, these soldiers and these homeless individuals and just this society as a whole, this group that you have of probably only 300. And they realize that you, your word can be held at least that you will come back at some point. But also, some of them look to not be holding their breath. With that, after that six hours is up, you hear a clicking, a ticking in the, in the back of your head. And as you turn around, you see a clock, grandfather clock, large and with a door made of solid mahogany. It calls to you, Sam. Do you open that door? She does. Jumping back to the party. Oh boy. As we now get, oh boy. As we now get back to modern times. Oh boy, here I go places. killing again. <laughs> After y'all's day of absolute fucking debauchery with the doors. Like, sure. <laughs> me and Gragnar are still inside of. <laughs> yeah. You mm -hmm. guys are going to be kind of dealing with your own things up until now. But, mm -hmm. Sam, you will show up at a certain point. Okay. Give me a moment and we will have that happen. Okay. But first. It's going to show up like the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'd be back. Uh, Lustria. Yeah. Safina and Ragnar. Oh my god, that's me! Was it just you two going in the room? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Because Fran and Luke stayed outside talking yeah. to the doors. I realized, <laughs> yeah. I, I realized literally, literally, Fran's fucking drinking Fran's, with the doors, remember? Fran yeah. is the only one who has not, is the only one who's been in here. <laughs> just yeah. yeah. The, and oh, the revelation yeah. of already fighting the spear once. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh no, it wasn't even a revelation. It was like, ha! That's well, great. <laughs> Luke, Luke knew. Oh, Luke found oh, out. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you're gonna have, so gonna have a time with that. Oh, fuck. You walk into, for the first time, Serafina, this double door. It opens as the sister of the doors opens it for you. And it's dark at first it's hard for your eyes to adjust but as they do you see pillars pillars that put the halls of the the kingdom of ashengard to shame they are made from obsidian built and carved with gold placements they have bright red gems in the eyes of dragons and serpents all around them. And these pillars, one pillar alone is more than 30 feet wide in size. And it just reaches into the sky, a sky that seems to sparkle with odd colored red stars. Uh, yeah, I don't mind them. This Those is the, uh, constructs. Uh, what? She's gonna look down at you from looking up. No, Kreesh! <laughs> and with that, mm. Serafina, from behind you, you hear, <laughs> yes, sir. Ah! <laughs> I thought you should be introduced to, like, the people who are allowed in here. This is Serafina, one of the people that are allowed in here. Ah, uh, Serafina. This is Kreesh. Hello, ma'am. Hi. I am Kreesh, recently named. That's great. Congratulations. Yeah, I named him. I kind of, I thought it was like kind of rude just to call him Butler Robot Dude. Like that just. Yeah. <laughs> Fitting. Our new, our new master is quite a gracious and powerful one. May I get you tea? Sure. 
Um, you have tea in here? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. I haven't gone through everything, so I'm not surprised there's tea in here. Uh, just so I can uh, add a character, just so I can picture. So it's like just piles of gold and just stuff. No, it is actually meticulously organized. Oh, there are items on shorter pillars that seem to be itemized. And then there are things in the background that seem to be in piles, but it feels organized between the pillars. Like, like there's a specific amount of gold oh, okay. here. And there's a specific amount of items here and they are still being itemized. You can actually, now that you look past the pillars, you see multiple different constructs, none of which look like the very almost humanoid butler made of brass and steel in front of you. These are kind of hulking uh, creatures that's hands are, are more like a dozen mechanical like claws that seem to pick and prod at things. You see them scanning and reading and going through. And you watch at, as the butler standing before you goes, T, Legionnaire 553. And you watch as, from above you, what seems to be way too high for something to fall from, one of those hulking creatures or constructs just falls. Oh, God. And lands, shaking the ground. Legionnaire offering tea. And you watch as his lump of what looked like smooth steel that makes his head splits open. And there is a teacup and a nozzle. That drops hot tea into it. Uh. Please. Have some. And the head leans forward. Thank you. And she's gonna take the cup. <laughs> and he leans back. Legionnaire. Returning to station. <laughs> As he leaps into the sky. And as he does. I'm going to lean down to Grino. This is safe to drink, right? Yeah. Of course it is. I would only poison you if you deemed were deemed a threat to our master. Fair enough. You are not a threat, correct? I don't think I am. Sir, is she a threat? Nah, she's cool. See, straight answers often lead to straight situations. It is not poison. Good to know. <laughs> Alright, so we're here to do... Um, we're here to talk to the ancestors. So we're gonna go where the skull was. I feel like that's like the best place to set up a thing with that. Ah, yes, sir. Yeah. A modern day seance. I would be more than happy to go ahead and assist you. However, I do find that my programming has been errored in some way recently, and I must continue with my maintenance. If oh no, we got forward, it for the most we got it for the most part. If you need to go work with the stuff, which like are like the ones that fell from the ceiling earlier, okay. Do we need to do anything about that? We share a form of sentience. And connected mm. memory. That is why I am working on myself, sir. By working on myself and all of the different uh, constructs look at you simultaneously. And you hear a continuous same voice from all of them. We work on our, ours as a whole. Cool. Wait, what happened earlier? Uh, so remember how you, all of us, had eyes, like, following you? Yeah. Um... And I told you, Fran figured out where his came from. I figured out where mine came from when it grew a mouth and started talking, and then an old god came out of it. Describe an I, old god. Uh, he looked kind of noodly. I looked at him, and I feel like my brain almost exploded. Still DM, feeling can a little I roll? scrambly. <laughs> roll a history check again it's not really a religion yes, anymore that is a 11 you remember something about old gods and stories and more like more like like folklore of entities that would 
roam the forests or the world or stare at you from the sky. Kind of like boogeymen, but the kind of boogeymen that would fuck up your brain? Uh, that's concerning, but... It's, pro- it's probably fine. Apparently the Red Dragon was on good terms with them anyway. They're currently uh, warded from coming back in here, but I'm going to talk to him and see if I can figure something out. I'm convinced there is an Elder God that looks like that. <laughs> uh, well, make sure I'm not here while you're doing that, because I don't. I would rather not deal with that. I mean, it's not going to set up the thing now. I'm just going to ask him about it. Like, I feel like you don't... Like, I feel like this is another one of the situations where, like, I feel like they're, like... They're gods. They're not going to just be like, oh, cool, random cobalt on some random Earth planet that we forgot about or something. It's just like, hey, yo, I want to talk, and they're just going to show up. And I don't think it works like that usually. So I'm just like True. putting the word out there and see if he can get like in contact with them, and then we'll go from there. I don't know. I just, if he's on good terms with them, it pro- probably should be fine. I hope so. But also, yeah, Gragnar. Yeah. Before we start, mm. how are you feeling about everything with my mother being back? Mm. I'm in love with you. I'm just gonna avoid talking to her because I don't see that being a very nice conversation. I think it could benefit if you talk with her at least. Nah, I'm good. Maybe like sometime in the future, possibly, but if I don't have to have that conversation right now, I'm not going to. I don't really have anything super great to say. She's kind of almost directly responsible for my grandfather dying, even if she was sick at the time. Understandable. Out of character I had, I wanted to talk about and I forgot. (laughs) I will say that as this conversation is being had, Serafina, you catch the glimpse of a automaton standing slightly behind a pillar watching the conversation and specifically the little red eye that is just kind of a almost like a laser pointer dot focuses on you a bit Mm -hmm. you said it was one of the automatons yes hey uh is it supposed to be doing that gregner she's gonna it's probably fine anybody who's not supposed to be in here is quickly not allowed in here uh, I mean, you can always ask Cree. She's. I was gonna say, what was the the, the the butler one's name? <laughs> yeah, you can always ask Cree. She's around, but um. Well, let's just go see the skull, and you can ask later. I don't remember if the skull stood there. Did the skull crumble? I can't remember. It did crumble. Oh. All right. Cool. Well, there's like a platform that the fucking skull was on that we can like sit on. It As we're going, in. can I like keep an eye on my surroundings to make sure if if that yeah. automaton is following us or anything? Yeah, we'll do it passive perception. Okay. What is okay. your passive perception? So it's your perception plus uh, uh 10. It is 12. So roll the <laughs> So roll the D20 and then add 12 or no, no, it's just your passive perception is a 12 because you're you're passively walking past them. To oh, the event. OK. Oh, you know, another thing I almost forgot that I should probably mention. I told Fran the passphrase, but if there's any point that you come in here without me, I told them that you need to have a passphrase. Um, the passphrase is Gragnar said so. OK, uh, how <laughs> would I get in here without you? I don't know. Maybe there's like a situation where I'm like, yo, um, here, take the crystal thingy get into the horde or something. I don't fucking know. It's just seemed like a good idea to set up like a passphrase. 
just in case. That makes Several sense. Weird, weird things. We have a lot of weird shit go on, so it just seems like do. a good idea. <laughs> to... Motions to the fucking horde. That we <laughs> well, this weird sci-fi scene of robots in medieval gold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, are we at the platform? You find yourself mm. at the platform. I will say that you notice that a lot of the automatons are focusing on their work. There are a couple automatons here and there that seem to keep an eye on you. And the what you thought were like red stars definitely uh, seem to be watching you and Gragnar. But there's an intensity about it. Something that doesn't feel like it's from a construct, but there's an intensity about it. Mm-hmm. Um, is there, you come across... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, is there like a role I can make to see why they seem so fixated on me? Uh, I can make an educated guess. And? You you know what? You, you can choose to either ask Ragnar... Or you can choose to roll. Okay, my headphones broke up for a second. What'd you say? Uh, I told, because uh, you said you could uh, entertain a guess. So yeah. I will, I said that either they can go ahead and ask you, Gragnar, what your thoughts are on why they seem so interested in Serafina, or uh, they can roll insight. Gragnar, why. Are they all staring at me? Um, if I had to make a guess, you're kind of the other dragon's kid. So maybe it's something to do with that. I don't know exactly like what terms the white and red dragon are on. I didn't think they were on bad terms, but there's I fucking no. There. <laughs> I w- oh, you know what? I should probably mention that. Um, what? Because they're not like exactly like night and day. At least my ancestor, he's a little, he's a little intense. I will, I will admit that he's a little intense, but he's pretty cool. You know the intense how? <laughs> Greg, I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> I'm not really sure. How to explain it? He's not like, like it's not even like a stab at him. Like I said, he's intense. He's the one that everybody says is the angry one. Okay, let me let me rephrase. Kind of like the chill grandpa of the group, I guess. The best I can come up with. Okay, I was like, is he intense like Garum, or is he intense like Yolanda? Honestly, a middle ground. I'm not gonna lie. He's like halfway between those two. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to find out. <laughs> yeah, you could not, you know. It, it's, it's, yeah, go either way. If he's I die right now, so it, if I yeah, die, yeah, then fine. He's not fully revived yet. It. Apparently, um, I was uh, gonna say, working on that. Oh, good. I was gonna say, I hope Yanti is keeping up his end of the deal because a lot of shit's been going on. Uh, last time I talked to him, he's uh, he was uh. In the process of re- I don't fucking know how resurrection, to something like that. All right, I'm gonna right. pull out my journal and start setting up. <laughs> All right. So, from what you know in the journal, uh, you need something that represents the entity you want to talk to. Uh, you can Gragnar having- sit in a circle. <laughs> Could. You could probably also some, there's probably also still some skull dust on this thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Gragnar, clean it up. Gragnar, she like looks at you when she's like reading the part. She mumbles to herself about how like she needs something that represents or is a part of that entity. Mm. Looks at you and you just go, skull dust. <laughs> just picks up a handful. Oh. I didn't clean it up. <laughs> kind of just, yeah. <laughs> that, I, didn't that really works. Want, I didn't know I didn't know what to do with it. So yeah, that's like his skull. So that well. And you also recognize that you need, um, essentially, it's recommended in the book. It's like, if you're not a deity and you're a mortal, you might need something to help you focus, like incense or a weird timer that clicks every five seconds. Please make sure to go ahead and use this as necessary. Love, Bahamut. Uh... 
You got any incense or a timer? Uh, in here somewhere? Let me look through my backpack first and then I'll ask them because they're kind of still cataloging. So I don't know what so, is and isn't in here. Is it something that basically just helped keep me grounded, essentially? Yeah, basically. Uh, I have... This is... I don't know if this might still do the same thing. And actually, no, no, it's not. XO, I'll say... XO, XO, Bahamut. <laughs> so I'm going to say I still have that protection bracelet that... uh. Not Yolanda. Uh, the the drow gave me at the very beginning of the campaign, but that was just to protect me from seekers, I think. Uh, so. so it was something to protect you, yeah. Yeah. Before the fucking stuff uh, mm -hmm. got taken off. Uh, mm. I don't have any incense on me currently. Can we kind of look around the horde? I forgot I had that. You forgot you had the horde? No, 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 no. Something in my inventory. <laughs> I still have two more bottles of bottled hellfire. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Because I don't have a lot in my inventory. Hi, uh, Kreesh, do we have any incense on hand or something? Of course, sir. And again, he appears behind you, Serafina. <laughs> oh. And he's he's holding uh, what appears to be a metronome and a small container of incense. Where would you like them placed? Uh, like you can place them... What? Mm -hmm. I was saying you can give them to you because I don't know how to do with them. Oh, I was just going to say you could place the incense around near the, I guess, the circle, and then we can just take the metronome. Of course. And he holds out the metronome. With your permission, sir, I relinquish this item to her. Yeah. Temporarily. Understood. And he hands you the metronome, and it is a really, really expensive looking metronome. We're talking like engraved with emeralds and gold and shit. And the little finger that goes back and forth is most definitely made from some sort of rare metal that you're not even really sure what it is. This is really nice. That's um, a lot of the stuff in here. Have you seen, like, did you see the goggles that I gave Luke out of here? Kind of. They're engraved, if I remember correctly, they're engraved with gold and platinum, so... Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Me as a character, I would have added that to his, his art, but... <laughs> yeah, they're like, uh, if I remember correctly, it's, they're like... Gold, platinum, um, they're and silver. Like, yeah, and they're like dragon motifs on the sides of them. Oh, shit. Well, now I gotta, yeah. I gotta draw that. <laughs> uh, you watch as he places the incense around this circle that is... Again, this is where his skull was supposed to rest, Serafina, and mm -hmm. Gragnar knows this, but you are looking at probably a 60-foot-wide circle mm -hmm. of where his skull alone was supposed to sit. And Gragnar knows he didn't die in his yeah. biggest form. So what is here is he's playing these incense down, and eventually he begins to place down bricks of incense on top of these ornamental incense burners. Mm -hmm. Think of like the Catholic incense burners that are yeah. right there. And he begins mm. to light them. Also, I'm so sorry. Real quick, I'm going to go use the restroom. Uh, I'm going to say Seraphina's like just setting up while we're doing that. So <laughs> I'll be like super quick. The bathroom. Oh, I don't fall in. There is no bathroom in this location. Well, then I guess I'm pissed myself. But I'll be <laughs> Can Luke do a quick tangent? Yeah, yes. we're going to jump to Luke. And uh, we're going to jump to Luke and Fraun outside. What, what you doing? Hey, Fraun, do you think we're missing someone? It feels like we're missing someone. What do you mean? Well, it's the four. Of, I mean, Captain's doing her thing. The three of us. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. I forgot about Garib. Oh, isn't he locked inside of a closet right now? That's what Doc said, right? <sighs> okay. Can, can you watch... Seraphina's mom, will I go get him? I mean, we might as well just take her back. I mean, I don't know how drugged he is. I, mean, I was going to take him and put him in one of the rooms here. Well, I mean, okay, how about this? You pick up 
Serafina's mom, and we'll go back to the. Sh- oh, she is okay. Yeah, Luke, you took um, her to bed already. Yeah. Well, we need to take okay, her back, back to the ship anyway, right? Woo. Oh yeah, I just want to get to join the merriment. I, I, well, I of like course. What I, what I could do is we could just take her back to the ship, and then you know she can rest there, and we can also get Garum. I also need to check on the crew, considering you know I've been gone a hot minute. You okay? I don't to want walk? them having more PTSD than what they already have. Are you okay to walk? Uh, yeah, I'm all right. And uh, Franz stands up and like puts the the alcohol down. It was great drinking with you both. Y'all are an absolute riot. We enjoyed it as well. Yes, brother, I did enjoy having a drink, though. I don't think it affected us like it affected him. Oh, I'm actually perfectly fine. Thank you, though. Part of my head is like, my head can is like, I'm perfectly fine. Walks away with their vest on backwards. Like, <laughs> <laughs> One button Man. unbuttoned. He has to have an intolerance if he's going to be drinking with people he's going to kill. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> They proceed to uh, walk towards the. Uh, they proceed to walk towards the uh, their door when they when one of them turns around. If I might point out, hmm? brother, I, I do believe our conversation with the other doors here. Yes, yes, brother. I don't believe Garum is at the ship. Where would he be? <laughs> and they point to the, uh, like the little. Uh, like half door cabinet. Oh my god! That is a god. closet space oh. for the kitchen. <laughs> oh, he's stuffed gonna... in there. Oh, oh man! Open it. And you see Garum unconscious, like t- tied up, oh. upside down, and he's looking <laughs> all fucked up. Like he looks like oh, he was absolutely okay. fucking drugged out of his mind. <laughs> Uh, Luke, could you? Yeah, um, I'll, yeah, I'll go take yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, his a... his snout has been tied. His arms are tied to his chest, and it almost looks like the Japanese rope style was used oh. in, in abuse. <laughs> no, oh, <man. laughs> oh Garum, I'm so sorry, like a captured man. alligator. That's oh. what I imagine he looks. Like. <laughs> okay, buddy. Let's. I'm let's sure take it he's going to be so Pissed. okay when he wakes up. I'm I'm sure so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. mean, once we tell him who did it, he won't take it out on us. Exactly, well, yeah. We've got an you alibi. See, you see that both his arm and leg have been removed and tied to his back. <laughs> oh, Aww, man. Let me just attach that real quick. <laughs> Fran's going to attach that back to him. <laughs> okay, okay, Garum. Luke, you are surprised at the ability of Fran to undo and redo these ropes exactly as they should be. There practice. we go. <laughs> practice. Looks... What do you mean practice? I wait. You know what, Luke? <laughs> I'm gonna have to have the story of the birds and the bees with you at some point. Um... Oh, trust me, I know birds and bees. Once an insect, once a bird. So it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it just it feels rather experienced that you could. Can... You've, you've had experience with rope before. I, I sure have had experience with rope before. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm, you go, uh, you, you, you go put, you go put him down. I'm gonna go put him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my god! Oh, I almost oh, myself. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh my god! Holy shit! I'm walking that down the hallway. Such a good delivery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus um, Christ! What's a bug and right. what's a bee? <laughs> bird. Well, I'm I'm waiting for the elevator. I was really, I really know I don't know about the sex. Oh Come my on, God! <laughs> oh, the oh, really? uh, fucking uh! You don't need the elevator. You're on the f- main floor. So you can't. Oh wait, you gotta get it to the mom, yeah, right? The third floor. <laughs> oh yeah. So you um, you pull it. And suddenly the door comes down and opens, and there's a very, very tall red cap. Like he mm. is, his back is on the roof as he looks at you. Oh, wow, you guys are shifts. Oh, okay. shifts. I've been here this whole time. Oh, I see you're a grower. I'm going to go I inside. See growing. <laughs> and he proceeds to reach down with just his finger and thumb and. You gotta, so you got a you got a name or something. I feel like 
I've seen I've seen you like three times already. I should at least know your name. Six. Six? You've seen me six times. Oh. I I am drunk. Right. Right, the to and from. Okay, no, never mind. I'm not drunk. I'm just dumb. So what's I'm your not name? giving my name out. Gotcha. You shouldn't do that either. All right. They're the fake. <laughs> they be fayin. My name's Lucas. Nice to meet you. Oh my goodness, Luke and Lucas. Oh yeah. You're not giving your name? Well, you've called me Lulu this entire time. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Luke Lou. And he opens the door so you can leave. Thank you. I'm going to see you in like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> also, I love how he was just like, you shouldn't give me your name. What's your name? <laughs> that sounds about right. He was trying to bamboozle him. He was giving him a test, <laughs> and he passed. Oh, uh, <laughs> You walk in and find that she has awoken. She's still groggy, but she's sitting, kind of looking out the window of this area, out onto the, uh, out onto essentially the road and streets ahead of you. Uh, and she's kind of just searching and scanning, looking at everything she can. She seems to be very engrossed in it, but without missing a beat, the minute you enter the room, she... Yes, Luke? Oh, oh I, I just don't mean to bother you. I've just brought you a, a friend to possibly talk to when he comes to. Uh-oh. Um. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, go right. Oh, man. Oh, you, you know each other. Right. Royal. Luke, she told Royal. you. Right. <laughs> oh, man. You guys have a lot Seraphina of catching Seraphina told you. <laughs> I know. He's like, I'm, I'm I inebriated. <laughs> I, uh... Is he okay? I think he was drugged. <laughs> For some reason, I did not foresee that of all things. Yeah, I kind of forgot about him. <laughs> don't, tell, don't tell him that. I didn't drug him, it was Doc. And that might be why I didn't foresee it. How are you feeling? Are you okay to stand? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, the nap I needed was there, but I'll need more of a nap once we're back on the ship. Yeah. Um. Did you, would you like a chair so you can sit by while you look out the window? Uh, no, I'm fine. Um... Might I recommend putting him in a different room? Okay. Then uh, again, we'll be out. We will be in the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> Luke. That yeah. Was the best. I know you're not a moron. You do know he's married, right? <laughs> leaving him in the room with some other woman could be perceived as. He's technically unconscious. Also, I didn't, I, also I, I didn't know there were, I didn't know there were other bedrooms here. I thought this was the I want only you, one. I want, you, I want you to say that again, and I want you to comprehend what you just said. Yeah, I'll, I, I hear it now. Hey, Luke, how's it going up there, buddy? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, Fraud. I think I'm fucking up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there, buddy. We've all been there. <laughs> there are plenty of rooms here. You could put him in the other room with the double bed. Just remember not to put him in the room with Serafino's mom. Yeah, I, I got that. I got that part. <laughs> they have a history. They would look really bad. Yes, Serafino's told me. <laughs> okay. Thanks, sure you're doing Thanks, buddy. Thanks, bud. Yep. <laughs> Do you need more water? I'm good. Get him okay. in a different room, please. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. It was good seeing you, Garam. Like yeah. this, I guess. <laughs> Garam, I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> please, please don't yell at me. <laughs> and you take him to the room with the double bed, which is next door. Um, 
There are plenty of rooms here. You could even take him to another room with a double bed. All of them have. I'm gonna make beds. sure he's two rooms away. <laughs> the oh, furthest no, room away from her mother. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, you know, even with a leg and an arm missing, you're still pretty happy. Okay. We'll be downstairs. <clears throat> he's unconscious. Yeah. No. <laughs> He's whispering him to him in his dreams. He's, he's, Luke's just catching his breath. Okay. All right. I'll see you in a little bit, Karam. Luke kisses him on the forehead before he leaves. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, tuck him in. In. I, I didn't even tuck him in. I just left him on the bed. He just <laughs> left him up there. Still tied up. My Face down on the pillow. Just... I'm going to close the door. Wait, he's still tied up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Luke, don't forget to untie Garam. Thank <laughs> Oh my god. Damn. God damn it. <laughs> okay. I, All right, girl. I need you to roll me a performance check to untie those ropes. Oh, because shit. I'm oh, not missing ass. out on this opportunity. <laughs> Remember, Luke, loop de loop, then pull. <laughs> and then your shoes are looking cool. <laughs> I think your care room's looking cool. <laughs> Hey, Fran, does it go left loopy or right loopy? I got a three. It goes forward and back, left to right. You oh, loop de loop and then you pull it tight and it should come loose. All right, what's that in reverse? You do all of that in reverse. You do all of that in reverse. Somehow, this like nicely tied, like he still had a little room to move, gets really tight. And it's like... Do you need me to come up there, buddy? No, 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 no. I, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, all right. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna find a, a, a loose enough uh, little space. I'm just gonna... With the three, there are no loose enough little spaces. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Luke, don't you have a dagger? Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut the rope. Oh my god. It has cut the rope, and you Start watch it. Start stabbing <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Just be glad finesse isn't a thing. Just be glad finesse is not a thing in this game. Um, but uh, you you do un you do cut the rope and you watch as like he goes and he's like his snout is still covered and his hands are still like tied up but like his body goes loose and you realize uh you realize for the first time that like you know. He he's gonna have rope burns. It's like, fine. He's gonna have marks across his body that don't match. Wasn't he? Big whoops! Seraphina has rope burns. All right. Real. Kind of a red. <laughs> <laughs> and and with that, you can uh you can leave now, Luke. <laughs> get, get the fuck out. <laughs> we'll be downstairs. All right. All right. Love you. <laughs> and, uh, with that, we're gonna take a five, so I can take a piss. Uh, <laughs> this piss. It's like uh, uh, Luke gets back down. <gasps> Front's gonna look at him. How'd it go? He's like a breath. solid seven out of ten. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Yeah. That's yeah. better than you know. It could have been worse. You could have taken him to the wrong room. You could have yeah. tied him tighter. It, there's so many things that could have gone wrong within that time frame. And if it's a seven out of ten, then you're you're good. Come on, you can you can trust me. I wouldn't do any of that. You're the only person Never I could trust in this that. moment because you're really the only other person in the room besides the doors. No offense, oh, doors. I'll, I'll keep that <laughs> consolation. And Fran can absolutely tell that you're lying. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> He's fucking with him. <laughs> I was just fucking with your padre. <laughs> Fine. Even heroes mess up sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. absolutely. Yeah. How bad was it, though? It was really bad. <laughs> it was really bad. It was really bad. But if I could, if oh, I could die of embarrassment, I absolutely would have. No, it's a good thing he was unconscious. Nobody saw oh, you, right? Thank the Lord. Well, he was. I don't so know. Maybe conscious. Maybe the red cap on the elevator. Ah, uh, he didn't see he anything, right? <laughs> Fran, look, look, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest with yeah. you. I really hope not. That was really, <laughs> that was really bad. It, it couldn't have been that bad. It, it was pretty bad. <laughs> the only one that saw is my ma. <laughs> like I have to apologize to Seraphina for this one. Oh, 
Yeah. It was, it was bad. Oh, that's pretty bad, actually. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Where's the wine? Uh, downstairs. <laughs> Drink up, buddy. <laughs> Chat's asking that? how everybody is. How everybody be Hung doing? Hungover. Yeah. <laughs> hi, Chad. Hi. 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 How are you? Hi. 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 <laughs> With that, we're going to go ahead and cut back to Serafina <laughs> and Greg. Okay. I have, I have a sneaking suspicion something is going horribly wrong back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's probably fine. Things never go wrong. We always have everything go so right. You keep telling yourself that. <laughs> yep, helps you sleep at night. <clears throat> oh, so we're we ready? <laughs> yeah, you have all the incense around. Uh, the metronome is in your hand. Uh, you can place it wherever you want. I will place it right next to me while I sit down. All right. Ding uh, dong, ding 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 ding. Where do you ding, want Ragnar to be? Um. So we have the skull in the like the center of the circle, right? Skull dust, yes. Uh, Gragnar, or you said it was like a sixty foot circle, right? Yes. Uh, I feel like he could go on like the other side of the circle, like across from me, but or I don't do know I how need this to works. Stand in the circle with the skull dust. I don't know how this works. No, so I was like, as a player, I'm not entirely sure. I think you can go to the other side, and then we can meditate. Do you know how to meditate? Let's just wing it. <laughs> uh, if you all both sit or sit down, um, Serafina, you begin to try to meditate. Uh, mm -hmm. The metronome beside you, uh, you reach out for it and it begins to tick on its own. Oh. And there's just that tick, tick, tick. Tick. As the incense go around you, you can feel the eyes of the automatons watching you as you do this. You can feel just the heaviness of this space. It, the more you focus, the harder it seems to focus. Gragnar, mm -hmm. how would you meditate? I think <laughs> I think Gragnar's uh, form of meditation would go uh, with a certain D word, you know that dissociation. <laughs> oh, good! I thought you were gonna say dick. I did too, and I was like, "That's very out of character." But okay. <laughs> I mean, Ron's right outside, Gragnar. <laughs> <laughs> As you begin to disassociate. Uh, you sit there, and Serafina, from across the way, you even 60 feet away, you can see the eyes kind of... <laughs> this is why Gragnar keeps themselves busy, because they have five <laughs> seconds to think about anything. It's like... Oh, oh, oh there I go again. <laughs> and I need... Serafina and Gragnar to make wisdom saving throws. Oh, Ooh. I'm so bad at those. Oh, shit. My, I, I, I forgot my stigmata it was already used up. Yep. Fuck. Yeah, uh, yep, that tracks. You said a wisdom save? Yep. Okay. Yeah, that uh, wisdom save tracks. That tracks. That is a nat 20. Seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you find yourself meditating pretty well. You find yourself able to fade into nothingness. But as you do, there seems to be something that feels off. And you don't need to open your eyes to know that <laughs> there's something across from you, something chaotic, something broken. Mm. And Gragnar... You feel across from you a form of peace, a form of, of focus that you're not quite used to, but there's just too much silence. And for a split second, you hear a voice in your head. You begin to think about the things you've been through. 
And that voice seems to almost narrate with glee those very aspects. From the death of your grandfather to the death of family and friends, the loss of your home, the fact that you've been in the sun for so long, and then you end up back in the Underdark only to have more people look down on you. They always look down on you, don't they? They always look down on us. Don't they, Gregor? They always look down on us. They always make us lesser than them. It doesn't have to be that way. You know that, right? It doesn't have to be them looking down on us. And, Serafina, you feel something. You feel something very very dangerous and dark coming from Gragnar's direction. Mm -hmm. Can I... You don't I... have to look down on us at all. What do you choose to do? Uh, can I maybe make an insight check to see if this is... Not necessarily normal for the red dragon, but she doesn't really know much about the red dragon. Uh, I guess an insight check to see if <sighs> something. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, that is a oh, that's a nine. <laughs> Something's off, but you're not sure as to what, and you feel like you need to focus on your, your meditation, but you feel like this could be something thrown off to like reach out. It, it, you're not quite sure, but it just doesn't feel right. Greg, Gragnar, you... It almost feels as if something is pushing at you to be enraged. It feels like it's coming from the inside, but it also feels like it's more than that. Mm. What do you do, Gragnar? Uh, I think first move, move is to, like, take a look around, I guess? You open your eyes after trying to meditate. Uh, or rather, you realign them. <laughs> <laughs> and you look around for a second, and as you look around, it fades away. As you pull yourself out of it, almost... Kind of shooken, I guess, by your own by these these thoughts, these intrusive thoughts. Uh, you you pull yourself together, and Serafina, as quickly as you feel, it's gone. It's <laughs> <laughs> wrong for that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do y'all choose to try to meditate again? Do you want to talk about something or anything like that? You know? Ragnar. Uh, uh huh. Did you feel something was off? Yeah. I've been talking to Fran about that. Uh, it's the first has gotten, uh, you know, like almost physical <laughs> manifestation wise, but. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm trying to think of the best way to put this. I think it like really started to click back when we like first got to the Underdark. Um, it just like really started to click that when we had like the funeral for that. That's the perfect example right here is um, the, f the one guy who died at the beginning of the thing. I didn't even know his name. The one guy who died. <laughs> it was like the first person who died. Like, when we first got to the Underdark. We had, like, a whole funeral for him. Uh, but... okay. <laughs> I mean, as a player, I'm trying to remember because there's been a few. <laughs> I've, I have no idea. It was one of the first ones that died at that <laughs> No, I, I think they were... It was one, uh, I think it was, like... Vincent's grandson or something like that. I can't remember off the top. That's of my right. Head. Yeah, one of the the uncle's sons or something. I don't remember it, but yeah, it was one of them. But 
I don't even remember his name. And honestly, like, I didn't really feel anything about him dying. And I'm realizing that happens a lot. Where I, it's kind of hard to like, I don't know the words for it. I've been talking to Fran about it and it's, I'm kind of like trying to keep, use Fran as a way to keep me grounded. You're shell shocked. I don't think it's shell shocked. It's like, I think the best way to put it is I don't want to end up like people like Asmodeus. It's, he has lots of power that's like coming to him and we're getting to a point where we also have lots of power, but there's the aspect that a lot of the people that we personally end up having to deal with don't care about what their actions do to the people around them. And I don't want to be like that. But it's It's really fucking hard. (laughs) I don't know. It's just, it's been on my mind a lot. I don't think it's ever really... Whatever that was, it's never been like that level. Yeah. Well, I understand what you're talking about. Uh, I'd say I'm kind of in the same boat as you, but I just keep pushing it away. So... I don't know. I've just told Fran to like try and keep an eye out. And when I start going, if I go too far, kind of bring me back into check. How do you think that would go? No idea. I don't know where. I think the problem is, is I don't know where the line is, but it seems like Fran does. Hmm. Do you want to try again? Sure. I don't think it can go much worse than that. I mean, if if you're worried about it, I can. I can. <laughs> that's the worst. If it's something you are worried about, I can attempt to do it myself. Nah, I need to talk to him, too. I haven't talked to him in a while. All right. I don't want to just be like, have you go in there and be like, uh, yeah, I sent her in there to talk to you. Bye. (laughs) That seems kind of rude. I should probably go. Yeah. We can talk about it some more later if you're willing. I'm down. All right. Let's try again. Can I get a vibe check? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Get a vibe. We're getting all the vibe checks today. Get another vibe check. Uh, you said it was a D20 plus a D4? Yep. Yep. Okay. Thank you. That is a... That's a three. And another three is six. <laughs> It'll be all right. <laughs> Okay. You're feeling like this conversation has solved a lot of problems. Mm. You know, maybe, maybe in your gut, you're like, you know, this is the conversation he needed to be able to do this. <laughs> Let's fucking go, mate. <laughs> I really hope I roll high. <laughs> uh, what do you think, Ragna? <laughs> <laughs> it's already started. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> already disassociating. Already. <laughs> With that, uh... Do you think Quack is bonkers? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, boy! <laughs> all I have to say is that... All I have to say is that, uh... Gragnar's got a lot of repressed emotions that mm-hmm. he has openly yep. stated he doesn't know what to do with. Yep. He so, doesn't know what to do with them. Or there's the other the other one, because I feel like conversations that he's had with Fraud where he's like, yeah, that's normal. Everybody's childhood's like that. <laughs> that's too real. That's too real. <laughs> right? <laughs> Oof. All right, give me your wisdom saving throws. Oh, boy. 
Oh, where'd I it go? God. I think Please I have a rule better. That is a. Uh, I'm, I'm using my once per day. I'm using my once per day. What did you day. roll? What did I you roll? rolled an eight. Okay. And I rolled a six. <laughs> so, so, this is how this goes. Oh. Serafina, uh-huh. uh, what is currently on your mind that's really worrying you? That's really worrying her? Yeah. Uh, the whole reason why they're in this fucking war is and trying to get the shit out of Fron. <laughs> you sit there and we'll start with Gregnar. We'll go, Serafina. Okay. We'll go. Gregnar. I have two points of exhaustion. <laughs> so, Gregnar, you sit there and you begin to disassociate. And again, there's this moment of almost serenity. The calm before, again, you begin to dwell Mm. on how you've been treated by so many different people, so many people who just look down on you and treat you like shit, and then you find yourself going back to the first few weeks with the party. At that hellhole of a show where they were selling your own kind off like playthings. And you remembered burning that building to the ground and just how nice it felt, how powerful it felt, how it felt to take that back, to take something from the people who keep hurting you, keep talking about you, to keep just reaching into you and tearing you to shreds for no better reason than they view themselves as more than you. And for a moment, there's a flicker of flame at the end of your nostrils, just a flicker of it. And you realize that while Fran might know where the line is, you're not completely blind to it. There's rage in you, Gragnar. A silent rage that wishes to blow out the world. And it almost, almost feels like slipping out until you use your once a day. You catch yourself. Serafina, as you sit across, across from Gragnar, a mm. lot of things are on your mind. And yeah, Gragnar I was going to say about... she, sorry, <laughs> I was going to say no, she's just, uh, like, what I said earlier about the, the whole shit with Osmodeus and Fraun, and then having to confront her uncle and uh, the shit with Ball, and just a lot of, a lot of worrying things. You hear Gragnar earlier talk about Fron keeping him in place and then that reminds you of you know Fron for a split second and you fall to yourself you think about holding his hand trying to calm down but that only reminds you of the color of his hands what's underneath those gloves contracts blood not the blood on his hands that he has done you've You know where he came from. You know who he is, and you trust him on that. But the blood that could be on it, the blood that he would never forgive himself for, and you think about Ball's deal and the idea of crushing everyone who would hurt Fran and everyone who would hurt you, and the idea of locking your uncle away. Sounds real nice, doesn't it? For Mm -hmm. us, right? The way for us to make sure that everything we want is protected. We can just lock him up. We can put him away. and We can make sure that he suffers for all of eternity. He'll never throw Garam out a window again. He'll never strike your mother into madness. He'll never hurt another soul. He will never turn another loved one into a monster. And all we need to do is kill him. Fuck locking him away. Kill him. Skin him. Turn him into a rug, a statue to show other people what it's like. And then you, and with that, there's a sudden flash of of light across from you. Gragnar, you use your once a day, which is a nat 20 as a concept, right? It is a automatic success. And in this moment, you two are working together to try to meditate. And Serafina, you see for a split second that your thoughts are cut through and there's a bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Literally, metaphorically, you watch as Gragnar sits there, white flames around his body, as he begins to not disassociate, but actually focus for a moment. Mm -hmm. 
and you something clicks that 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 wasn't meditation that was brooding that was wallowing for a moment sure you have your goals but to just wallow in it doesn't allow you to move anywhere and you're both able to meditate though not completely there's a lot on your minds and mm. having a moment to think is a moment to reflect and a moment to reflect is a moment to see the scars on your body in the mirror is there a scars. way that i could roll to see if that was some sort of outside influence yes do so with disadvantage again you're trying to focus yeah on this moment so you can do that but it would be at disadvantage if you want to keep meditating okay uh what do i roll do i roll like inside or that would be uh wisdom as well okay you said disadvantage yep uh 14 and uh that's a nine that's a 11 feels like it's from you but more and you're not sure as to why or how okay so it's part of it if nothing else is coming from you okay i'm gonna let it go for now and then just continue okay and you both find yourselves finally meditating gragnar there is a calmness to your flame as you sit there and finally clear your head and it took y'all a while y'all don't realize it but an hour has gone by in this place before you were able to focus Get yourself taken care of. When finally, a voice calls out. Who the fuck is banging at my door so fucking loudly? What's up? <laughs> I brought a friend. <laughs> Hi. And, and who stands before you looks like a long red-headed man with a long red-headed be red beard. His eyes are scorched scorching blood red and he seems to walk with a heaviness in his foot the white dragon's brat Hi. yeah she has some questions I have for you a proposal actually yeah that thing quick quick thing because this will be kind of quick I guess um so Creech, the like automatons that are in the horde. Um, so we kind of had a little, little, little incident, nothing too crazy. Um, one of the old gods kind of showed up inside the horde. Yeah, yeah. Did, did the automatons have any reaction to that? Uh, a couple of them fell out the ceiling before I banished them because I didn't know what was gonna happen if like stuff kept going. And then Creech oh. told me. That you're on good terms with the. I'm just trying to make sure it's. You're going like, to have to reset like, Kreesh. Oh. Whoever that is, fuck is. It's the main one, the one that looks mostly like a butler. I just thought it'd be a little easier oh. to have for him to have a name. Uh, yeah, I suppose. But uh, yeah, you're going to have to reset him. You're going to have to wipe him. His consciousness goes through all of them. You're going to have to essentially delete and reset. Oh. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> um, he has a core. Shatter uh -huh. it and replace it. I've got extra parts laying around. Do I have time to go pee super quick while y'all talk? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. have some more okay. questions to ask. Um, They're okay. just automatons or parts, pieces. So you can absolutely just replace the parts. His core is essentially like his brain, or loosely speaking, a soul. Crush it, destroy it, cast it aside, and put a new one in. It'll okay. reset the rest of the automatons as well. I will see what I can do. But, like, that aside, I'll get to that later and figure that the fuck out. Um, Because they told me that you're on good terms. You are originally were on good terms with the old gods. I'm just trying to see if there's, like, a one way we can... Okay. Excuse me. One of them. Is there a way that we can, like... Because, like, just one of them showing up went really bad, and it's like, I want to see if we can, like, schedule, like, 
a meeting or something to like smooth things over. Don't I don't do know. Yeah, don't that's why that. I'm that's that's why I'm having this don't, conversation yeah, with you. No. Um I've died twice and the first okay. time was on friendly terms. Uh, I think we were on friendly terms, and I didn't yeah. realize until after the fact that I wasn't supposed to look at them. F friendly terms is indifferent. Mm, at least they don't have, like, interest in you or anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> so about that. No. I didn't do anything. I didn't no. do anything. Apparently what's going on, a bunch God. of a, a bunch of the fucking, fucking. gods are calling dibs Damn it. on us. <laughs> fucking hell, Gragnar. <laughs> I didn't do anything. To I, be fair, I, he didn't do anything. They I'm not talking to you, okay. white rat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, white I, scale. I ain't mm, <laughs> let me deal with him first. I didn't actually do anything. So Without getting into all of the crazy shit that's been going on, I got some new, like, vision abilities, and there was, like, an orb following me. Find out there's orbs following all of us. They've been following you for fucking months! I didn't fucking know! I can't see them! <laughs> you could... And there's just this look of frustration, and you can feel the room getting hotter. And that's when you guys realize that you're not in a room. You're kind of just in an empty space with no floor. But it is getting physically hotter. Like, you feel like you're sweating. So, well, like I said, to put it this way, I have literally never interacted with them. But apparently, a handful of the gods have called dibs on individuals of us. And apparently, they're focused on me for whatever reason. Because... Because the red dragon is the most pissed off dragon. It's the crazy one in the family, okay? When the family reunion happens, we're the crazy one. We're the one who always picks fights because we're also sick and tired of dealing with everyone else's shit. We're so sick and tired of having <laughs> other people look down on us that we fuck them up. Seraphina's yeah, gonna kind of like, oh, that sounds <laughs> yeah. like. That sounds yeah, like. That tracks. Yeah, yeah okay. that tracks. White dragon shows up and he looks at you and starts talking about wisdom and peace and tranquility and how uh, to be nice to people and how you can stop a war with words. And he's right, as long as those words are disintegrate. I, I don't I actually picked that up recently. <laughs> I don't do that. Also, hello, Ray. You, oh, I'm getting a bunch of rates. Honest, okay. Honestly, honestly, like Speaking in her favor, she kind of aligns with you on some of that shit. Uh, yeah. Really? A white yes. dragon's descendant that isn't a prissy priss. Y yeah, actually. Okay. She's indirectly kind of aren't like you, one of... Aren't you a princess? Isn't that, like, by definition, kind of what you are, prissy priss? I was. <laughs> I gave up my title. Ooh, she's with the commoners now. All right. A little bit. Yeah, but no, nah, like indirectly, she's kind of like was like the spark of why um, Asmodeus is kind of where he is at right now. Oh, my God. You're the one that lived. Yeah, that's that's her. That's <laughs> Serafina, the girl who lived. Come to <laughs> oh, <back>. ew. <laughs> <laughs> Also, sorry. Hello, everyone that raided. Thank you. And thank you for the follow. Sorry. What's up, chat? We're doing D and D. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna pocket. Yeah, I I was assuming we get back to, to another time. That's a that's a whole fucking can of worms that I don't know how to deal with. Uh, don't be noticed by them. Honestly, it I, that's kind of hard to do. I'm talking about the Elder Gods. Like, just don't. Just, like, be the most boring, inconsequential thing you can be. That's if still it hard to tell. Helps, if it helps, the war, the Horde is currently warded against them getting back in. And that the old. last thing they said when they were banished was they're interested. But like I said, we're gonna we're gonna stick a little we're gonna we're gonna stick a very big pin in that, put it over to the side. We have less 
Yeah, you know it's fine. Things. It's not like you tried to stare at their essence or anything. So yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, talk to uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? Oh, yeah, that's what happened. I'm still feeling a little scrambly. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I can't reset you. <laughs> I'm fine. I survived perfectly Cracker. fine. I don't yeah. think you're fine. That's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me agree with her. Do not fundamentally make me because it feels like agreeing with her is agreeing with him. Don't do that to me. I, I okay. Everything against you. <laughs> Everything against you and him. I did warn you before you came in here. <laughs> no, I figured. But we we will pocket that. We will pocket that. All right, mm-hmm. Pillow Princess. What the fuck you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> well, you might be right, but that's just, that's a different topic. Um, I did come in here to offer a proposal. What could you have that I want? I'm one, dead. Two, I got a whole ass lich bringing me back. Thank you for she, that. I right did now. that actually. Oh uh, yeah, I was about to mention that she she put that in place. I didn't do that. You You're put welcome. That in place. Yeah. Is it too late to call off the deal? <laughs> it's kind of, of already started. We talked to uh, Yanti about that. Uh, <sighs> when was that? Like uh, two month months ago. Half, probably two months ago. Uh, <sighs> I oh. Ugh. God fucking damn it. All right. You have my attention. What can I do for you? I'm not here to spread wisdom or whatever. But I was wondering if I could borrow some power. Hey, Gregnar. Yeah, what's up? Have I ever let you borrow something? Kinda? That's a no. no, that's a no. You've <laughs> always taken it. It's yours. It... Okay, yeah. <laughs> we are not the dumbest of the dragons. I want you to learn that. And as for you... I wouldn't say dumb. I feel like my uh, my issue is a lack of information. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. So let me lay out the information for you. I don't give freebies. I don't let people borrow shit. I don't like... I didn't expect you things. to just give it to me. No, 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 no. Let me clarify. You want something, you're going to earn it, and you're also going to keep it. You see, the white dragon, he's cool with his descendants giving away shit for free. But if I give you something, you keep it. It's yours. And if you give it up, I'm going to come for you, and I'm going to have him come for you. Understood. What I give out is not meant for everybody. Understood. So what do you want? Power? Blood? Fire magic? Something to help me... cool. (laughs) Something to help me overthrow my uncle and help with the war. I don't know what you might want to give. That's why I'm leaving it up to you. You're coming to me for this. Who else would I go to? What do you know about your ancestor, the White Dragon? Sir, ask again? What do you know about your ancestor, the White Dragon? Mm -hmm. Out of character is... I've been a bit confused about this. So is the white dragon its own thing or is Bahamut the white dragon? So the white dragon, the same thing. <laughs> they, they are one and the same in this world. Okay, cool. Okay. I just wanted to make sure because it, I felt like at the beginning of the campaign, we were like making them two separate, but then it, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. uh, I know that he is my great, 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 great grandfather. 
Okay. And if you could describe them in three words, what would you do? How would you do it? Hmm. Three words. Yep, just three words. Wise. Tolerant. Hmm. This is hard. I usually just say chill old man. What if I told you tolerant was a far better word than what most people use for him, which is patient. What is the difference between tolerance and patience? Mm -hmm. Tolerant suggests you don't necessarily like the person. You go the person or the concept, you don't like it. Tolerant is not actually accepting something. It's more, it exists, so I have to deal with it. That is a pretty good example of the white dragon you see he's the good guy because he shared his knowledge with people i'm the bad guy because i hoarded it wealth power i hoarded it because it was mine because i worked for it with my two claws my two hands right here i scratched out the throats of those around me and took what i thought was mine and that's fair now gragnar something i could say about myself is i don't lie I don't like liars. Liars get fucking murdered. Mm-hmm. And I agree with that. And yet, the white dragon has lied to you about who he is. Because he hasn't told you, because he kept his mouth shut about what he was before he was a wise leader, before he unified your country. Because what unifies people? I can tell you sure as hell it isn't Calm words and niceness. I'm sure your boyfriend or husband, I think right now, right? Yes. Can tell you what can unify people. Usually or, violence. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you see, what you're wanting from me is something that the white dragon cast aside. And I'll be honest with you, kind of forced onto me. See, I wasn't always so angry and ready to kill everybody who stepped in my place. The White Dragon is one hell of a warmonger when he needs to be. And I use that word literally, warmonger, someone who incites war for profit. Mm-hmm. So I'm more than happy to give you something, but in return, you're going to ask him some questions. And I want you to see your great God die before your eyes because he is not as perfect as he looks. I never worshipped him. No, 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 but you're his blood. And I know that'll hurt him far more than any worshipper. Mm. You do that for me? And I'm more than happy to give you a piece. And he reaches into his arm. He rips away at his flesh. Now, this isn't going to be as potent as it is for him. Because he's just built different. (laughs) (laughs) You, on the other hand, you'll get just a little drop of it. Just a little drop. So all you want is for me to ask about Bahamut's past. Ask about who killed his love. Because the romanticism, it's not there. Make him relive that day. And you can have your pound of flesh and the cost. All right. All right. And he literally drops it in your hand. He grabs your wrist, pulls it forward, drops this bloody piece of his own flesh. You see his bones and tendons showing, not even healing. Eat up, kiddo. Grow big and strong. Maybe if we're lucky, the white dragon's lineage will die with you. But then again, you're already fucking your husband, so... At least one more generation of shit noses. 
I mean, okay, you know, I'll at least give her one thing in favor that you might be a, at least a little bit happy to side with her on. Mm-hmm. Um, she's also slightly responsible for, like, the rest of, you know, the people directly linked to, you know, me and my clan not dying. There is some, like, hyena people out in the desert that kind of yoinked up Sneak and uh, a couple of the others, and they almost died. And Congratulations, kinda, you did the good yeah. thing. <laughs> Am I am I supposed to reward people for doing the decent thing nowadays? I'm that... just saying she's helped out. She has her moments where she's a little shit. Like I'm not gonna lie, but I'm a little shit. So you know, I'm still it's holding really a grudge against her mom. And it... <laughs> oh, yo, you not... oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be nice. I don't have anything nice to say. I'm gonna keep quiet. Okay, then I'll say <laughs> But it. I'm in the same vein as then, you. Then, then I'll say it. Thank you for doing what needed to be done. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not, not a lot of mortals will do that. I will say that, all right? I'm not going to pat you on the back for it because you should do what's right, right? Depending. Get out of my domain. Just go home. Take the flesh. <laughs> I was trying grandma, to help you. I was trying I to help you. Come on, let's go. <laughs> get the fuck out of my domain before I fucking sc- fucking scorch you and send you back to your husband in a fucking bag of ashes. You want me to put like fuck. your fucking skull shit in a fucking jar or something? I feel like uh, it's kind of rude just to leave it all over the ground. It's fine. I don't care. I'm getting a new one. I'm gonna say I res- I helped res- resurrect you, but all right. No, I am thankful for that. Like, okay. <laughs> Look, again, you're kind of just... God, okay, so, been paying attention a little bit. Ask Fran what it's like to just deal with his ancestors' bullshit being blamed on him all the time and realize that he's having to build up everything to fix it, right? You're going, you're doing that right now. You're doing that right now. Your mom kind of fucked over my entire, like, peoples for a little bit. And then, like, the Kingdom of United also fucked them over, but, like, they're all assholes, Minus yes. one, apparently. Props to you for finding the good and one. And yet, my mother, um, she was not well. She wasn't. She wasn't well. And that's why I didn't kill you when you came in. Because... Mm, motions are complicated. Keep doing the good thing. And eventually, I will be 100% an asshole to you. But for completely different reasons. So do you want me to eat this now or wait? Whenever the fuck you want. She's going to sit there and start eating it in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> you got balls if nothing else. Yeah, I think I think that was kind of established when she got chopped in half. <laughs> Sorry I missed it. Yeah, I didn't say it that. was it was <laughs> it was intense. <laughs> Well, enjoy the food. Enjoy the meal. Uh, simply put, once you're done eating that, enjoy the heartburn. Because, again, you're not built like Ragnar for this. Oh, I probably should have mentioned that. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't expecting fucking daisies and butterflies out of this. It's pretty bad. Yeah. If he says it's gonna be bad, it's it's pretty bad. I think I fe- I've literally fallen unconscious every single time. Every single time. Have fun with that. Hey, Gragnar. Mm. Good seeing you. Good seeing you too. Rest up, Ancestor. Also, Serafina. Yes. Thank you for treating my kind and my ki- children like people. <laughs> Apparently, that's a lot to ask nowadays. Um, I usually try to treat people like people. Yeah. Now get the fuck out of my house. And he snaps his <laughs> finger, and you are thrown back into your bodies from the astral plane. Serafina, you find that you are finishing the dust off of the ground. <laughs> you, you find that you have been scraping up and eating that dust and there's this warmth building up in you oh great it no. is 
it is hurting. It's like indigestion, but so much worse. And then your stomach churns and you feel like you're going to vomit. I need you to make a constitution saving throw with disadvantage. Oh, boy. Because, <laughs> again, you built not built like Ragnar mm, yep. is. You aren't the chosen one in this regard. Actually, can I use one of my gay points? <laughs> yeah, go right ahead. I go forgot here. about gay points. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a d12, so it should be one of these. Okay, so roll the 20 and then add the d12. Yep. Uh, that is a 12 plus uh, 11. So 12 plus 11 is 21. Do you have any modifiers to add to your. Oh, sorry. Uh, plus one. Plus so 12 plus 12, <laughs> 24. Okay, so forget it was a disadvantage. And it was oh, a disadvantage. Yeah. So roll that again. Uh, do you want to roll the d12 again also, or just keep it yes. as a... Okay. Yes. That is a... That's a five. <laughs> plus a twelve! <laughs> Same time. Five plus twelve plus one... Plus one. Uh, Eight times. Plus twelve. Eighteen. Eighteen, okay. So you got the eighteen. Uh, you feel like you're going to fucking die. Your insights hurt. Your throat feels like it's burning. It's like if you down a gallon of the hottest hot sauce in the possible world and you feel like you're going to vomit everything up. But you can't. And there is a booming voice in the room. For the next 24 hours, kick them both out. And the automatons stop what they're doing. And they pick you both up. Uh, the butler picking up Gragnar. I'm sorry, sir, but orders are orders. Ah, shit. And you're both taken out of the door. And Fran, you watch as your wife, in agonizing pain, uh... is laid on a table in front of you. Gragnar is ever so gently put down, whereas she's just kind of dumped. <laughs> Serafina, what did? happened? Uh, we had a talk with the ancestor. She did uh, the. She, she did the cannot meat talk right that, now. <laughs> she did the meat thing that I usually do. He did warn her that it is going to be significantly worse. And oh. I guess she's going this to is, be okay. She'll be fine. It's just going to hurt a lot. Yes. Take 15 uh, burn <laughs> damage internally. <laughs> oh. Burn damage? Yep. All right. Let me I have an my idea. Age. Like, you'll. Yeah. You let out a gas, and Fran, Gar Gragnar, you actively see what looks like flames coming from her mouth. God damn it! Okay, as I have an idea. You said 15, right? There, yep. And okay. you watch as there seems to be a red glowing sensation from her chest that almost seems to be eroding her. I don't know uh, how much this is uh, gonna help. I, I, hold on, hold on, I got something, hold on. I don't know how much this is gonna help. Craig, I didn't know it was going to be this fucking bad. He told you it was going to be terrible. I've passed out literally every time this has happened. Yeah, How do you really fucking does. do this? I don't Look, know. Again, he does it. He passes out. Yeah. <laughs> so if you can do that. Of, I'm going to pull out one of my greater healing potions and that fucking pendant that we got from the hyena people that uh, has like cold energy on it. And I'm going to like try and turn like a health potion into like a slushy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, with that, with that, uh, that's when Luke walks in. Uh, <laughs> took me an entire hour to get Garen back. No, no, no. You oh. were uh, you came back with her mom, with... right? Or no? No. Oh, no, you, oh, that's you, right. You, you you were dealing with the elevator. Uh, you, for you, it was two seconds. You pissed off a a a, a, a phase, so you were stuck in the elevator for like an hour. Shit. Uh, for like two seconds for you. You walked in. You see him. He's like two of them now. Oh. Hello. Wait, two of what? Eh. Oh. Eh. Press Is this guy? Yeah. Lulu. That's me. You gave your name and he wouldn't give his. He told real me not to. Real piece of work, Lulu is. Lulu's a real piece of work. <laughs> I was told not to. And he starts closing the door as you're still standing there. Oh, wait, wait, okay, okay. I'm coming in, I'm coming in, I'm coming in. Okay. And you come in. And it's for you, it's a few seconds of awkward silence, but they kept you in it for an hour. Pissed at you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, You're welcome, Lulu. 
Go into the kitchen. You're gonna come in to Serpino. <laughs> 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 the community. What, what did I miss? I was gone for like two minutes. Uh, she, uh, ate some, she, ate some, <laughs> she ate some dragon's flesh. Uh, usually uh, I pass out. Uh, so. Yeah, Seraphine is just uh, fighting the passing out. <laughs> Does yeah, she need to pass I'm, out now? I'm, uh, I'm making like a health don't! potion smoothie. That <laughs> might help. It might help. Well, hurry up! I will say, Luke, if you fucking knock her out again, she's gonna be more pissed at you right. again. <laughs> he puts his, he puts his, puts his hands up. I'm not doing anything. It was just a suggestion. I'll give the potion to Fran, the like frosty that I fucking made it of. <laughs> it's a superior health potion because I don't have anything smaller. Fran is going to uh, give that to Serafina. Excuse me, greater. Yeah, greater potion. It's I'm glacial not using freeze. a superior. Glacial freeze. <laughs> uh, uh, don't you take like two levers, levels of exhaustion every time this happens? Like one or two levels? No, that's my once per day. But per uh, day. usually, yeah, usually what happens, I literally just pass out every single time I have failed the constitution saving throw. The yeah. last time I took exhaustion is because I rolled a nat fucking one. I was like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was, no, that was the fucking, that was the demon one. The one before that I still rolled low. I don't think I've rolled higher than a 10 every time I've had to do so, it. Uh, more than six seconds has gone by. We're, we're going to say this is every 30 seconds or so. Uh, how much did yeah. I get healed? Uh, so, uh, Fran, you're the one giving potion. it, right? Yes. So yes, you'll I roll am. for it. So Fran's going to mm. roll a greater he healing potion, which is... Mm. Notebook. Go ahead. Give me a second. All the while, Serafina's like on the table, going, like, 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 like
the the potion essentially just nullified the damage to an extent. Most of it, yeah. Minus two, yeah. 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 Uh, Minus two. You you nullify everything to just negative two HP on you. I'm at 87 out of 104. And it is, again, in absolute pain. And you're like, I should, in your head, you're like, I wish I could pass out. I, I should pass out. And there's a voice in your head. You're gonna earn it. And then she responds, fine! <laughs> uh, I need you to make a wisdom save and a constitution save. Okay. I would also like to use my second gay point. Go for it. Go for uh, it just straight saves or disadvantage at all or no? A disadvantage on the uh, con. Okay. So I'm going to do the wisdom first. Uh, that is a 12 plus 2 is 14. I'm going to roll the... Uh, plus two, so uh, si 16 for the wisdom. Mm -hmm. And then you said the con? Yep, con with disadvantage, with your gay points if you want to. Uh, okay, con. That is a 17 plus two, so 19. Uh, and uh, 12 plus two, 14. Okay, so you take the 14 on that. Your wisdom save is enough to keep you conscious and keep you sane during this pain, but you feel like your internals are being ripped to shreds, and they are. You know, when things catch on fire, they tense up, they pull on themselves, and they usually, the muscles contort. And in you, that contortion is being fought by the fact that you're thrashing around in pain. So Fuck, things are definitely need, ripping. Do I need to bust out the big potion? It might help. Uh, and as you all do this, there is... The scent of the sea. Oh, oh shit. Shit. <laughs> That wasn't me. This is going to be awkward. I was about to say, terrible, I was about to say terrible, terrible timing. <laughs> no, it was not me. Thank you very much. She's going to come in. Well, like, then, who was just it? He's going to be screaming. <laughs> should, I get the, should I get the big Should I use the big potion? Yes! I only have one. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes use the big potion. Damn. I'll buy Fuck. you another one. Fuck, then okay, you walk go in on. as uh, Seraphina <laughs> takes seven more damage. From where? I will slushify my superior <laughs> potion. Walks Thank through you. what appears to be... You're a good friend! <laughs> Luke, you look over just in time to see what looks to be almost like a cave manifesting from the door that leads into the kitchen. No one else seems to notice at first. And then, Fran, your passive perception being broken as fuck. Um... <laughs> Uh, I just have to say that, chat. I just want you to know, I have to say that, because what is your passive perception, Fron? Why don't you tell the class? <laughs> One second, let me pull out my phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's I don't even have my stats stupid. Out yet. It's, it's uh, so no stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know that Fron is played by Apothecary Witch Beck, my wife, who decided to mid-max a character for story reasons, I will say. There's a difference between mid-maxing so, for no fucking reason and story. And it's, it's perception plus 10, right? Yep. Uh, 17. <laughs> this is my passive perception. <laughs> I have had exactly one character sneak up on them, and it was in mag magical ne means were necessary. Um, anyway. They can see tomorrow. <laughs> Fran, you look up, and you see what appears to be an, a similar, like, outline of a person, but as you step forward, Sam, out into this, you hear the screams of Serafina being held down by the party as she literally breathes fire. And on top of that, Sam doesn't look like Sam. Despite coming out of what was water, you've retained several of your aquatic traits. So, Sam... Why don't you describe what you look like as you next, after that, describe what you're going to do, sing Seraphina <laughs> screaming in agony as she's being held down by everybody, looking like she herself was possessed by Osmodeus at this point. Well, Sam's blue. blue. Um, she's You're not blue. What does Why blue you mean? Abada. <laughs> what does blue mean? <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Um, she has a lower half um, that is hoof. She no longer has her um, oh, let me her harpoon leg. Um, oh, yeah. She also no longer has a hook. She has two hands again. Um, two hands. Yeah. yeah. And she oh, has no. um, two sets of horns now. Um, and her hair is much longer and like darker red. Um, and then she and has a taller. very long protruding. Are you still short? 
Ah. Uh, Wait, what? I don't I see. Thought I, don't... So short. I thought she stayed the same height. Cause that I was think she did stay the height. same height, yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was just double-checking. With the know. hat, though, it might raise a couple more feet. <laughs> <but> like... <laughs> yeah. Whatever you tell um, yourself at night, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen. Um, and then, yeah, and then she's going to come... Like through the through the cave and expecting to see you know just her party and then seeing the atrocities that are going on for her. Uh what the fuck is going on? See, it wasn't me. It was the real captain. Spicy. <laughs> I what? am the captain. What are you talking about? Wait a second, captain. Uh What's going on? Hi, hi, hello. What's going on? And who oh, the dude. fuck are you supposed to? Oh, Sam, it's Sam. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she ate some red dragon meat, uh, asking my ancestor for a favor. Real um, bad heartburn. You know, yeah, usual. I apparently take it a lot better, even though I pass out literally every time this has happened. So uh, I guess this is what happens I'm if you don't pass out. It. <laughs> yeah, you are. I mean, no, not this way. Not this way. <laughs> My love, another time, please. <laughs> uh, uh, what can I do? Uh, can I help? Uh, What's, what we can are I currently do? working on that by making health potion slushies. I don't think they're really working, but it's better than nothing. As I unless, hand from the superior potion slushy. Unless you can make her stop burning from the inside out, then, you know, nothing. You can do nothing, because hey, I can't do Sarah shit. Tina? Yes? I rolled max on 3d6, so take 18. <gasps> How many? 18. 18, 18 okay. okay. I'm at and 62. Then the, and then here comes the superior potion slushy. And here lady. comes the giant fist! <laughs> 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 Let go! <laughs> well, welcome back. Well, welcome back. Um, hi, thank you. Uh, 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 and then she's trying to think of, like, what she can DM. do. Um, oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead, sorry. Oh, okay. So actually, you go ahead because I need to look at my inventory because oh, I might actually. I was just gonna suggest. Can I just? Is there a way I can make a dreamer action and just have her? <laughs> Ooh. You want to make a dreamer action? Mm -hmm. Forgot dreamer actions were a thing. Same. Of course. <laughs> I don't like Wait. the way you're saying that. <laughs> I, hang on. I think the reason we didn't use dreamer actions in the first place was because if he does something for us, that means it does something for the it enemies in the future. With the price. Yeah. Uh... I'd be more than happy to have the damage for you. Or even have you black out. <gasps> <Sweet No>. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> or would you like the pain to stop altogether? I'm gonna earn it. <laughs> yeah, Locked that's in, my baby. wife. <laughs> oh, yeah, here, I you, <laughs> here I was. Fuck you, DM. Here I was, ready to put on my devil day. horns. <laughs> here I was, wait, waiting for my devil horns to be put. I need to get like, I need to get little devil horns for when you guys do do those kind of like. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> like, like <laughs> says nothing, just puts on the horns. It's like, like no, no. <laughs> it's like I still have like four inspirations, but I don't want to waste them. <laughs> just all right. The well, I just gave you a superior potion. potion, which is hold on. A superior potion is uh that's the one you just gave them, which is four d eight plus uh I mean eight d four plus eight. Oh no! I actually I gave them a greater the first time. I was like I didn't oh, think to check. Superior. Yeah, um, I, did, I said I didn't want to use a superior, but now we're using the superior. <laughs> okay, so in this time, then this time we'll uh, we'll we'll just say that you use a superior and you're using a superior now. Uh, mm. Just mark off a greater, and we'll call it even. Yep, that's what I did. Uh, I marked so, off the greater, and I marked off the superior. Yeah, so that's gonna be another. Uh, that's gonna be another. Sorry, it's gonna be another eight d four plus uh, eight. Okay, one second. It's real slushy, but not really because it boils. Yeah, well, I'm mean, boiling on the inside. I mean, it kind of <laughs> helps because it's cold, so that means it's not fucking evaporating when we're trying to give it to you. 
Oh my god, could you imagine? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. That was another reason why I did it. I was like, one, I feel like it'll kind of help because, it's like, like Carlac, it's how do you honestly, drink health potions. Like at this <laughs> point, right. at this point, Sir is just going off a fucking spite. <laughs> All right, what'd you roll? Okay, uh, we got uh, four, 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 two, and one. Damn. Four, 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 two, and one. Uh-huh. All right, so that's a uh, four, 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 two, and one plus eight. And then. Yeah, and then three more, right? Yep. That's 15 right there. Uh, two, two, three. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28. You heal 28. Can I also uh, use my fighter feet of second wind? To, like, do another 28 action? tops you off. It gives me more HP. It's like I heal one d10 plus my level of HP as a bonus action. Plus your sure. fighter level. Uh, you, plus my, what? You... Plus your fighter level. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because you you have a fighter level now. Yeah, but you can I've had fighter. But, uh, but yeah. I think they're saying it goes based off of your fighter level, not your overall. Oh, level. okay, yeah. 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 Uh, right. Where is the d10? Which one's a d10 again? Oh, it's one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have two levels of fighter, so. Uh, that is a seven plus two, so nine. <laughs> nine whole money. Wait, do bad things happen if you just keep giving her health potions? I don't know if you're supposed to drink so, this I mean, many. The, the pain continues. So, so how many did I heal? You are healing yourself. And we'll say that you fully heal. You're able to get okay. yourself there. And there's a moment Wait, of respite where the... Full heal? like You you are fully topped off. Your oh, healing is fully okay. topped off. And then you end up with... Uh, we're going to give you five bonus HP. Wee! Don't oh, hold on to it. Don't sell. Hold, don't, don't hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um, because don't celebrate it's the calm I'm about to take the storm. it. Yeah. Something that I've described every time Gragnar passes out is that there is a little bit of soot underneath him after he transforms. Mm hmm After he uh after he like eats something. Yeah. You're about to learn uh, why that happens. Uh oh, oh she boy. Has fireproof clothes. Guess you guys are going clothes shopping again. I'm gonna be <laughs> naked. And hey, at least it, it's everyone like... within a fifteen foot area. Mm-hmm. You, you take uh, oh, six fire damage as you're blown back ten feet. We just got we just got these this furniture. Son of a bitch! It's stone. <laughs> it's stone furniture. You don't have to worry about it. It's literally carved. I was out gonna of the say if we <laughs> if we burn all our clothes, at least it ties into the new designs I gave us. <laughs> nah, I'm, 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 I'm right. My clothes are actually fireproof. <laughs> yes. Six sixty-three. 63? <gasps> Fire damage. Wait, six, wait, 63 or 6d3? Six 63. Six okay. So that's a 6-3. I'm at 41. Damage. Okay, Fran, quick, quick, quick. Uh, quick. Three levels. Can I mix together two health potions three levels of and exhaustion? it should do anything? <laughs> yes. Uh, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how okay. this works. I'm gonna see what the fuck happens. I'm just gonna mix together the two growth, the two greater potions I have left. You, Gragnar, get blown back and immediately mm. like run up to her. And your way of mixing them. No, nah, I'm gonna, this. I'm gonna, st I'm gonna stay back. I have an idea to be able to get closer because I'm assuming she's still on fire. Yes, she is still <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, I have an idea. Like a ball of idea. fire. Yeah. In uh, I'm how gonna, many? I'm gonna stay back, and I have an idea. How many levels of exhaustion before death again? Is it six? Six. 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 Okay. You're halfway there. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> halfway <laughs> there. <laughs> I'm working on it. Just um, a reminder, Gragnar lived that way for like a solid like five yeah. sessions, like for some fucking reason. I would like to put Bardic Inspiration Trauma. on my wife. Go yeah. for it, man. Okay. Um, you know I what? Have... Major roleplay moment for the husband over here. How do you uh, do that? <laughs> bardic Inspiration? Yeah, how do you Bardic Inspire your f Flaming Gulf's wife? You must have done this for a reason. You just have to push through it. We are going to be right here, and we're not going to let anything happen to you. God damn it. That was wholesome. That was wholesome. Proceed. <laughs> Proceed. Proceed. She's just uh, still uh, screaming. 
Do you uh, want Fran to pull out a ukulele? No! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, an apo- it's not an apology, Velo. It's not an apology, Velo. What are you talking about? Oh, oh my god! God, god damn it. I um, can, uh, so I don't know if this, if it's going to do anything. I don't know. I'm going to mix together two health potions. I'm trying to, to think if that what helps. I can do. Okay. So you mix them together into one big I, container. Yeah. Um, I have two, gro- I have two greater healing potions left. I don't have any more health potions after this, but okay. I'm mixing both of them together into a bigger container. And I'm going to, after those are mixed together, I'm going to cast. Uh, flame form on myself, so I don't take any more fire damage, and I can actually get closer. <laughs> I am immune to fire damage in this form. Is there Ooh. any way that I can cast Armor of Agathis <laughs> and at least no. sort of help? <laughs> no? Okay. No. <laughs> Armor of Agathis takes, like, uh, doesn't it take verbal components? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm does. pretty sure it does. Yeah, you it does. You don't have oh. oxygen. Yeah, you can't, never mind. Like, <laughs> There's very few times I'll Wait, be like I a rule lawyer. I have but... subtle spell. <laughs> you can't oh. focus on that shit right now. Yeah, You're on. I don't. Fire. I don't think it's. I don't think it's concentration. But okay. <laughs> Let Gregnar help you. <laughs> the man's been through it himself. Yeah, uh, I will cast flame form on myself um, with the potion in hand and go over with the mixed together two greater health potions. <laughs> You're gonna have to roll two greater health potions because all you did was mix, mix the, the two. <laughs> I just don't. I, I was mostly asking because I don't know if there is any like adverse effects between mixing together that many potions. Well, you're also rolling. Asked, I was like, I was also like, I don't know if there is a limit to how many health potions you are allowed to drink. No. To like, you know, because well, it is medicine. <laughs> you might find out. Like, While you're rolling that, I'm gonna go pee super quick. I. Hold on. Uh, greater health potion. I think we're gonna need new clothes after this. I'm not. I have, my clothes are fireproof. Time specifically so- gave me clothes that he's re- he read off as Gragnar proof. <laughs> I'm so I'm so happy for you. Yeah, putting, I'm so putting fireproof. My shirt out. I'm so fireproof, guys. Wow. <laughs> I, of course, I dropped the D4 while I was trying to roll. I'd lend you my big clothes, but I think they're actually too big for you. Ron, you okay? Um, hanging in there. I'm more worried about my wife. She'll be fine. No she's a tough cookie. I know. A little spicy, but she's fine. I'm in pain! <laughs> She's in oh. pain! <laughs> I can oh, see shit. that. <laughs> Hold on. Damn, I throw three fours. Look at me. Yay! Let's go. Four, 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 one, plus four. What's that? I'm bad at math. Wait, what was it again? Sorry. Three three fours, a one, plus four. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen's the first one. You do realize it's it's, uh, eight D4 plus eight, right? No, that's for Supreme. Oh, oh, Supreme? These are greater. Yeah, that's for Supreme. I'll take more help. (laughs) I only have three. Gra- I only have two graders left, and I mix okay. them together. I mean, totally, it's eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Two. Okay, this roll is a lot worse. <laughs> I think you basically rolled a bunch of fours outright. So, uh, one, another one, a two, mm-hmm. and a four, mm-hmm. and then four. That's twelve. Okay, and you're adding you're adding the uh, plus four right already to yeah. this. Okay. E. So that is going to be 25 heal. Mm. 25 heal? Yep, 25 heal. So and it's 66. Yeah, you heal 25. And with that, Gragnar, you hear a voice in your head. All right. So you do care about them. I'm trying to. Then I care. And with that, the flame that was engulfing Seraphina almost immediately snuffs out. Is that good? Is that good? Her flesh yeah. is red, and she has what looks like burns across her body, but she is alive. And you see <sighs> that she starts almost immediately healing. Oh. 
Serafina, you now have lesser regeneration, where in you can essentially uh, at the end of your turn roll one d four. You heal that, and if you're already maxed out, you get up to four temp HP. Okay, it's not a lot, but remember, you said you get a drop, and sometimes one HP is all you need. Mm -hmm. What do you mean a drop? Oh. You know how many times I've survived at one health? <laughs> True. So right now you get 1d4 of healing at the end of your turn. Of each turn or just like once? Each turn. Each Ooh. Turn. Let's each regen, turn. baby. And you hear for a split second in your head, if you're going to play with fire, you might as well be able to at least survive it. Thank you. Don't thank me. I'm the reason you exploded. And the voice is gone. Mm. With that, you are now all in a room. Everyone is in a room. And you are slowly healing. It is painful, though. Again, you have three levels of exhaustion. And you are tired. Exhaustion team, I have two. Hey, Greg Nard, do you remember what level three of exhaustion is? Uh, you have disadvantage on quite literally everything. Your speed is halved. <laughs> you <Okay>. are disadvantaged. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my mother? In her room. Uh, I want to put some clothes on, though, if you have any extras. <laughs> Please go get my mother. Frog's going to take his cape off and uh, wrap it around Serafina. You want me to bring her here? Yes. I got it. Excuse me, Cappy. Oh, I'm going to go back to the ship then. (laughs) (laughs) Which reminds me, now that things have calmed down... Sam. Hi. Uh, Sam's back? Hi. Mm-hmm. Hi, Sam. Mm-hmm. Hi, Hi, Sam. I walk out the front door. <laughs> God. <laughs> when did you uh, look different? While you were on fire, like, a minute ago. Hi. Hi. Did you win? We're getting there. Um... But um, time came and got me. You told me to come back, so I'm here. Hmm. You can't leave again. I won't. I'll believe that when I hear it and see it. The crew almost... They, they weren't happy. No, they were not. And you already promised once before that you wouldn't leave. I know I did. I know I did, and I don't... I don't expect... I'm going to have to earn the right to be the captain again, because I'm not giving it up this time. I'm not going to ask you to. The crew deserves consistency, and I agree 100% with that. I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to beg your forgiveness. I'm not because it's not mine to to get. Unfortunately, I've been strung between two different worlds right now that both need my attention. And that's why I'm here. And I swear the same thing to Blue that I will not be coming back until I can stay. And I'm sorry I had to leave. I'm just glad you're okay. I'm glad you are too. Do you need um help up? Are you what do you I need? just want to lay here for a bit. Okay. Okay. <sighs> um 
where are we? Um, I I don't even time didn't even tell me where I was going or where you were you all were. I just the underdark. followed. We're in the other dark still. I heard you say something about your your mom. She's here. We got her back. Uh, she's fine. I think. I don't. I don't know where Garum is. Something Doc said he's somewhere. He's in a room. You found him. Yes, he's resting. <sighs> a lot. A lot of shits happen. Yeah. As I can see, I walked through a frickin' portal and you're on fire. Why Why did that happen? Why were you on fire? I ate part of the red dragon. It's a long story. You can tell me that later. <laughs> um, you were just on frickin' fire, so just please lay down. I am. Well, t- Okay, so keep laying down, goddamn. Also, you, you, you're, we have, I, I have a lot of questions for Doc when I'm not half dead. I'll come back with your mom whenever. Yeah, honestly, that's, that's what I'm waiting on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How long that take? You you go up there, and as they're talking, you're able to grab her mom and bring her down. There, as you come down the elevator again, the the uh, red cap again appearing completely differently. This time, there's just one of them, and he is like a shadow, not even a person. He just reaches up. And it comes on down with you. As you exit, you see Doc leaning on the entrance door, staring at the kitchen, but not approaching. You all right, Doc? I was called, but I don't know if I was called. Oh, yeah. I think you're called. Ask Fran for me. If Seraphina's still awake, then you can ask her too. All right, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll go to the kitchen with Mom. Hi, Geese. Your mother is walking into the room and looks at you and looks you up and down, up and down, as she begins to walk closer to you. And she looks you up and down again, <laughs> almost like an exasperated, very upset mother, wide-eyed. And then she just goes and gently touches your arm, which hurts a lot. And then she oh, slaps God. your shoulder. <laughs> ah! Oh! Why what would you do that? What the fuck? Why would you I do that? I was expecting that. Why, why, why would you do that? Why would you... I needed... <sighs> Going back to Ashen Guard. I needed help. We are not going back to Ashen Guard. I am going back to Ashen Guard. Yes, you are. I'll be staying in Lake Hill. Oh, uh, back. Well, that was weird. <laughs> you there, back? Is it better? Okay, there yes. you go. Yeah, that was you, you weird. You turned into a metronome that was going do 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 do. <laughs> oh, oh, that's Seance weird. again. Seance. <laughs> <laughs> were uh, you were saying you something? No, I wasn't saying anything at all. I was listening. Oh. Oh, okay. So she. I just mute my mic until it's my turn. I'm not going back with you. I'm going to stay at Lake Hill. I figured you, you would stay somewhere. I just. <sighs> You have to be in one piece. You can't keep being greedy for for this. And she points at you. I'm being greedy. Look at Fran. Fran, look at her. I'm looking at her. How many deals have you made? 
And he looks away. <laughs> <laughs> How many of them were good? Mm. How many of them were decent? Mm. <laughs> that really just depends on the who you ask. And I'm asking you, Fron, the person who <laughs> made the deals. None. <laughs> okay, all right. Look at my daughter. Uh-huh. Look at my son. <laughs> <laughs> same energy, same energy. Uh, would you say this was a good deal? If it helps me get rid what? of Elazar. Right, you get rid of him. Hang on. And you I thought you did this to get stronger. I needed to get stronger you... to get rid of Alizar. No, 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 no. You wanted to get stronger. I will gladly help you. I will gladly be on your side, and I will gladly take your side if it's to get you stronger. But if it's just to kill him or just to take him down, you have us. I told you to rely on us for that. And I am. And you went through pain and suffering and almost burned alive from the inside out? Just That's to get your uncle. an obsession. I'm... I will back you. I will... I will do anything you say. I am at your beck and call, if I'm being honest. But this, watching you hurt yourself, harm yourself, that is not what I'm here for. I will be an extension of your arm. I will be your living blade. But you cannot harm yourself. And I'm not throwing you into danger. I'm already throwing myself into danger. So that I can keep you out of it. I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, Doc's here. Did you want oh, send him in? Right. What the fuck does he want? Well, he said he was called. <gasps> Who called him? I guess that's I a did. good. That's a good question. I can send him away. You know what? Have him come in. All right. I'll call Doc in. And you turn around and Doc is standing right there. Like, oh, he's, he's faced your, your pecs. I almost kissed you. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> Honestly, fine physique, perfect health. No need for me here. That's disgusting. And he pushes you out of the way. And he looks at Serafina. He looks at Fron. And he looks at Serafina's mom. Stands there, too. Wait, what? Fish? That's Sam. Uh, oh, wow. Hi. Wow. Can I dissect you later? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, well, I just figured I'd ask. At least uh, you asked. I, I, for dissections, I always ask. It's whether they remember or not. Not my fault the drugs work that well. And he proceeds to walk over to Serafina. Ooh, third, third degree <sighs> dragon burns. This is enough of a tithe for you. No, you're healing yourself. But if you like, I can speed it up. I have questions. I have pills. Take a two and call me in the morning. I don't hold what to. looks like what looks like little yellow clams in his hands. <laughs> Small size like pills. Don't want to. I mean, you don't have to take it. Be happy with being exhausted and the constant pain of healing yourself over the next two or three days. I'll take them, but I have questions first. Mm, no. No, you can take them, and he takes them and puts them in your hand ever so gently. It actually doesn't hurt. For him to do that. Um, Fron. What? You finally unpacking that obsession she's got going? Apparently. 
All right, cool. I mean, uh, Mama <laughs> looks at Seraphine's <laughs> Mama. He's like, you unpacking the slightly unhealthy relationship going? And she just looks at him and is like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 okay. I do have a degree and a half in psychiatry. You are dismissed, Doc. Okay. Just think about the fact you called yourself her blade, not her husband. And he walks out the door. And then he pokes his head back in. You're more than a blade, Fron. Oh my god. You're I'm a whole to... ass Leave, person. Doc. I'll close Bye. The door. Autumn. Thank, yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and he just sits there as you close the door. He doesn't actually leave. Just like, he points at Fron. He's like, you're a person. <laughs> Ow. Mom. She just, she looks at you. And again, she looks worried. And she looks irritated. Yes. You can be mad at me all you want, but. Weren't you Is supposed the... to run off and live your own life? That was. Find happiness somewhere else that wasn't under the four walls of a crown. Until Elazar took that away from me, yes. I understand that, and I understand it very much. Believe me, I do. But if you die trying to get revenge, you're going to give up everything else you've built up since then. And like then I just let him, right here. let him go scot-free? I don't fucking think so. You don't have to let him go scot-free, but you don't have to kill yourself in the process. Again, look at this right here. And she pats Fran on the chest, like kind of heavily. Uh, this whole thing right here likes you, loves you, kills for you. And she looks at you. Can I please see your right hand? Um, sure. Without the glove. Uh, okay. And can I see your left hand without the glove? And um, Fran will do so. And she's going to set you up, Serafina. She's going to set you up so you're looking at your husband, and she's going to take both of his hands and put them in yours. I don't really hate Doc, but I don't feel comfortable around him. Yeah. Yeah. But he's your husband, right? Of course he is. Not just your blade? I never thought of him as a blade. No, but he thinks of himself as a blade. You just said you were a blade, didn't you? Yes. Do you think of yourself as a blade or a husband? Both. Okay. You're not. Serafina, he's willing to kill for you. I know you've been through a lot of bloodshed. I know it, but don't forget how much weight that is, especially for him. I saw your all's memories. And she looks at you from. I saw the first. Mm, Fran looks a little uncomfortable. I saw the hardest. And I saw the easiest. And she looks at you, Serafina. And I saw your pain. I saw the day he died and you found him. I saw the day you buried him. And I saw the first day you said, I love you to Fran. I can't lose. Then I don't. can't lose him also. Then don't. But also, don't kill yourself in the process, because he can't lose you. I'm going to go back to the ship. I had questions for you, too. I'm going back to the ship. 
because I'm being civil right now. And I'm a mother. I don't have to be. She kisses you on the forehead. She kisses both your hands. We can talk when you're healed. After you take the pills or whatever they are. And you rest. Okay? Sure, okay. since nothing I do seems to be the right fucking choice. Don't She's do gonna that. take the pills. <laughs> Don't. No, no, no. And she hands you a cup of water as you take the pills. No. You're an adult. You get to make your own decisions. Fine, but I'm still a person too. I can yell at you all I want. Especially when you hurt my daughter. Fran, straighten out your wife. And she just like frustratingly heads towards the door. I will open the door for her. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. <laughs> she just leaves. Serafina. Yes, Ron. Tell me. Tell me that we are going after Alazar for your own reasons. And not just because you want to avenge Adonai. Tell me that we're not just doing this for Adonai. Okay. I, and Fran is I going to wasn't... walk out. <laughs> Luke, see that Serafina gets back to the ship safely. I am going to go do inventory or something. Sounds good. Thank you. That's going to look to Serafina. Can I help you get to your room? I just want to leave. Captain, how about you go see Garrow? He's in this room, and I will wait with Seraphine. Okay. It's uh, it's good to see you, Luke. It's good to see you too. We missed you. And then Sam will, and then she'll turn. She'll walk away, and then she'll turn back around and like bend and like reach up to Luke. Like, um, where where is Garrow? Where where is he at? Third floor. Take the stairs, though. Okay, and then <laughs> go take the stairs. Luke's gonna sit next to you on the floor. I'm on the table. <laughs> Did I find you on the floor? I'm gonna sit with you <laughs> on the table. <laughs> what do you think? It's pretty cool that you can breathe fire. I'm not talking about that, Luke. I know. I guess priorities. I mean, at some point we all gotta figure out what what we're doing and for what reason. I just supposed to not. No, no. You, what your decisions I... are yours. What your decisions are. Whether. I, I can't say they're correct or incorrect. I don't want him to cause more harm for people. And I absolutely get that. We will take him down. But maybe 
some of it is for Adonai. Kind of hard not to, you know? Is he there? Is he in National Guard? One of the constructs. Do you think you're ready? The more I think about it, I don't know. And I think that's why I asked for more power. Because I don't... I. I, I don't know how to handle killing him twice. It's going to be hard. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. But it's going to be very difficult. But I think I think you can do it. Now is a whole different problem. That one sounds a little easier than, than Adonai. I'm not talking about physical strength. Oh. Just... The easiest way I can put it is just years of abuse, and... <sighs> I, I don't know. Luke, I don't know. It's okay. How about you? Take this time to just clear your mind. Focus on feeling a little better. And we're going to go ahead and cut to Fron and Sam. Uh, you both left the room simultaneously. I want there to be a moment where there's a point where y'all can converse. Mm-hmm. Y'all need it. <laughs> and yeah, Fron, as you step out into that room, you know the front doors are closed, and you leave that room. How are you feeling? Uh, very depressed. Would you say depressed enough to let out, like, a verbal sigh in the middle of the room? Yeah, I would say that. Especially considering you thought you were the only one stepping out at this time. Mm-hmm. As you let out that deep sigh. <sighs> Sam, you walk out. The door shuts behind you. You hear that sigh coming from Fron, and his shoulders just kind of sink naturally. Um, we'll say that you're holding your gloves in one hand, and you're just standing there, tired. Mm -hmm. What do you do, Sam? Is there anything I can do oh, to Jesus. help you? Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Sam snuck up on Fron? <laughs> uh, yeah, hold up. I, I, I mean, I knew he thought he was alone initially, but his mind in his is, head. <laughs> yeah, his mind is unfocused it's right elsewhere. now. It's yeah. elsewhere. It's elsewhere. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to startle you. I just... You're fine. It's fine. Um... How was the war, I guess? I don't know. I mean, still going. I mean, really, it's about getting refugees out and getting allies to our cause. Like, that's kind of where we're at. Um, it's war. What kind that's... Of allies do you need? A unified set of allies down 
under the sea, it's not exactly a connected network of people. Like, they just kind of keep to their own. Um, so oh, okay. trying to get people who traditionally don't communicate or even want to work together to work together in a common cause is not exactly simple. I uh, no, trust me, I get that. Um, I can... When we port at Lake Town, I'll see if any fishermen know of any fishmen or sharkmen or sometimes they come to to land and they make trades so i can see if they know anyone who might be able to help blue has good standing with a lot of folks a lot of different varieties of folk down there so she's you know manning all of that but i will she will appreciate any kind of help she can get but right now you know it's not about that i just I know I came in, like, at an awkward time, and I didn't mean to come in like that. It's just... We're back. That's what matters. And it really doesn't matter if it's an awkward time or not. Every time is going to be an awkward time. Right. Isn't that for goddamn sure? For what it's worth. Hmm. I'm sorry I had to leave you all like that. I was really pissed off at you, Sam. Really, really, really pissed off at you. You made a promise, not just to me, but to the crew. Said that you would stay, that you would be there, that you wouldn't just leave like you did and then you did. So I was very pissed off. I wasn't at first. I was very understanding of your situation. I know what it's like to be torn between two different societies and places. and Having to fight two different wars. But... I started to get so mad because we lost people while you were gone. People who fought for your ship, for your cause, for you. Vincent, Brent, Tom, and Tam. Gone. And all of the color kind of just drains for, from her face when you say that. When the crew found out that you were gone, I stood up for you. I want you to know that. I take no pride in keeping the title of captain, but I can't keep letting you lie to them. Especially knowing that you're torn between two worlds. And I've already told you from the start, this is not my ship. This is yours. I don't want it. I don't want to be captain. I don't want to be their leader. That is your job. But you haven't been doing it. I am genuinely happy to see you back and safe. But you know me. I'm mostly a businessman. I will do what is right and what you deem would be good for your ship. It is still going to be your ship. And when you are ready... I will gladly give it back. And you're right. Everything you said is 100% right. And I... Our world and everything that we've 
experienced and everything that we've come in contact with, everything that's darkened our doorstep, it's put so many things in perspective that I can't in good conscience, in good faith, continue to partially lead these these group of people who swore fealty, who signed a contract, who swore their lives to get us from point A to point B. I cannot in good conscience do that. So I say we let the crew decide who they want. And I won't even be in the race if they don't even want me. Because that's not for me to decide. That sounds fair. And the last thing that I ever wanted was to put you in an unfair position because you didn't ask for that either. I felt like my hands were tied. I chose an action. I went with it. And I can't make excuses for that. And I'm not going to try to. Don't... (laughs) Don't worry about what position you put me in. Really don't. Everyone knows their place. And I know mine. That much is clear. I will fill any role that you give me. Just as I filled every role before that. I... For what happened back there... I just... I don't know what you mean. What Just, happened back there? And Fran's going to walk away. <sighs> Gara yeah. missed you. Ooh, and I also made him a new leg and a new arm, but he might be pissed because, you know, you don't have a... Well, you do have a... You know, he's he'll find out. And then he just walks away. God damn it. Uh, and then she's just thinking to herself, later, we'll talk more later, and then she's gonna go try to find Garam. We had a matching set, come on! <laughs> <laughs> we had his and hers prosthetics. <laughs> all this Man. work and all this body loss, and now it's just me. Fran was looking forward to making them a matching set, if I'm being honest. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so when he talks about Greg, when he talks about Garam being upset... It's projection. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's the power of devil magic, baby. <laughs> um, as Fran, as you head towards the ship, you will see multiple people kind of waving at you. You mm-hmm. guys have been at this port for a little bit, and it still rings true that you've been a very sociable person. Obviously, mm-hmm. you've had to be, you know, captain on the ship, and also trying to wheel and deal. While also helping save this place, which did more of a boon than you intended. Right. While you are willing to be the face, you're also very, very happy to be in the background unnoticed. And it's starting to settle in that that you might not be able to be in the background for a while. And as you walk by, there is a moment where a small... A uh, child walks up to you, a small drow child. And they simply walk up to you and they hold up a piece of paper and chalk. Um, what's going on? What do you need? Mm. Uh, he'll take the paper and the chalk. Mm. And then you'll see... I'm sorry about that. I, I, I get over here. What are you doing? Oh, it's fine. Mm. Um, did uh, you need something? Did uh, no, Sir Fran. They were 
He can't do signatures. He's a very busy man. You can't just go. <laughs> oh. 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 And they go. Mm. Sig signatures? You, you want my signature? Is everything okay? They they heard that you might have been a bard. Uh, I am a bard. <laughs> they saw you signing with somebody. They're still learning. And so they are very rough around the edges with it. Oh. And they were excited that a bard told stories other than with words. You can't be bothering people for no reason. All right, Edgar? You can't no, be it's doing that. No, it's not a problem, really. <laughs> and Fran's going to kneel down. And the, the so you have an interest there. in bards, right? Mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. kind of bards do you like? And they go and wave their hands around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> making sounds, and then they go like. Mm -hmm. So let me let me see if I can interpret this. And Franz going to uh, put his hand up to his chin. I'm going to do a insight roll. Yes, please do. The grandfather looks absolutely bewildered. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, magic, like, magic, magic bards that, like, hmm. strike down their enemies and end oh. up triumphant. I see. Okay, so let me see if I get this right. And Fran's going to, um, cast, and, and this is up to DM's discretion, um, Fran's going to cast Dancing Lights, but he's going to make them go into the shape of a bard. Um, but they're gonna make them like stand in the triumphant way, so it's just like shaping the lights into this this picture. I will. Uh, do you have minor illusion? I do. I will allow for the combination of minor illusion and dancing lights. Okay, so if that's the case, Fran is going to tell them a story of a bard. Uh, who is a hero and protects children using the dancing lights and the uh, minor illusion. And they are absolutely engulfed in it. They are absolutely loving it. Um, and they smile profusely. And they hug you at the end oh. of the story. They just abruptly hug you. Uh, and for a split second, there's a voice that comes from this child. It doesn't sound like a child's voice. It doesn't quite match, but it's... it's there's a voice that sounds familiar. Hmm? Mom will figure it out. And Fran just kind of like... He tears up a little bit. And then he uh, he laughs it off, and he's like... You hmm? should become a bard. Hmm? There are many different ways to become a bard. Do you know what type of bard I am? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very close. I am a storytelling bard. That's why I was able to tell you a story. But I can also use magic. And I can also help people. But I want you to become a bard that you think would be best. Something that can help your people. Mm. What kind of bard do you think that would be? Mm. <laughs> Money no, grubbing no. bard. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Money isn't everything. It's not. It is not everything. But mm. I'll tell you what. Uh, Fran is going to. Um, reach into his little coin purse and pull out a single platinum and put it in their hand. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Sir Fran, you really don't have to do no, that. No, it's okay. Put it away at least. I'll tell you what, and Fran's going to use Minor Illusion to make the coin look like a button. Sir Fran, you 
you're indulging in them too much. Uh, Consider I, I, this a thank you. I can't give you my autograph, but this will be a thank you and uh, good luck becoming a bard. And they smile, they look at their grandfather, and uh, they sign something roughly, but it's very rough. Like, even for you to see, it's very rough. Mm -hmm. It is not something that only rich people say. <laughs> what? Mon <laughs> I told them money isn't everything. They're, they're very astute for a 12-year-old. Go, 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 go. And he, he kind of <laughs> shoes them. And you see him run over to a stall uh, where it, it's very obvious that he, like, sells things and things like that. Mm -hmm. And he seems to, like, go around it and dip behind. I, thank you. Yeah, of course. We, uh... We came from one of the villages farther down. One of the ones that ah. we'll be able to go back to now, thanks to you and your friends or crew. I'm and, happy to uh, hear that. They were excited to hear that someone could defeat the monsters. Obviously, I'm a bit decrepit and not quite capable of such things myself, but thank you for letting them dream of a better world. It's not a dream. Just trying to make it one. Thank you. Of He's course. going to hold out his hand. Just this old man whose hand is very rough, very obviously working man's hand. Callous and bone, mostly. Thank you. Uh, Fran will shake his hand. And he will turn and walk back to his stand. And oh. the kid is holding the button up like like this. He's like, put it away! <laughs> it doesn't last if, forever. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, what do you sell? Uh, fruit, mostly. We were able to get our hands on some from a shipment when we fled. Hmm. We, weren't merchant, we weren't merchants by trade. It's just... We were How allowed much... to sell. How much will that button there get me? We we couldn't. We you uh If you don't want to take it as a token of gratitude, then take it as my payment. We literally don't have enough. <laughs> then I will just simply take your sock. Ah, this is what I want. I will pay that button and he winks at the little kid for this and he picks up a basket of various fruits. It's not enough. And like you see the old man just kind of being like, Argh. perfect. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Enjoy the button. And uh, Fran is going to walk back to the ship. I'm not winning this one. Nope. Uh. <laughs> He just fucking he stands there as you walk away, very bewildered, very tired. Uh, you know, as he as other people come by and they start buying because they and you can hear the whispers of oh, what, what did he buy? What did Sir Fran buy? What did what did, what did Elder Fran buy? What did so and so Fran buy? Uh, you're hearing a lot of titles uh, from different. Uh, yeah, that's a little weird to him. <laughs> yeah, different groups and things like that because obviously dwarves have their own signs of respect humans have their mm -hmm. own signs of respect so these titles that you're hearing are all different ways that people are showing respect towards you and yours uh you even hear some people say lady seraphina or, or sir gragnar master gragnar you know you're you're hearing a lot of these titles and it is it for you it's a weird feeling to have so many people who aren't assholes praising you like yeah but I That's... would assume it feels kind of nice, too. It's an interesting feeling. Not with quite that... not quite there yet. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, you're able to get back to the ship. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, you see some of them in there. Because, again, you gave them, like, a three-day break. And it's only the second day for that break, technically. 
So like there's there's enough men there to be like a skeleton crew, but there's also a couple of guys who came back after absolutely fucking being wasted. Just kind of sprawled out down in the, the bunking area. Uh, Fran uh, will take the the basket of fruit to Cookie. Thank you. I very much appreciate that. Um, what is this? And he pulls up a very odd looking like purple thing. But it's got like three bulges on it. And it's nothing you've seen. It's nothing they, he's seen. It's just a weird ass fucking fruit. You know, it looks like it might just be some kind of deformed eggplant, but I don't really know. It doesn't have the texture of an eggplant. I will experiment with that. I, I, have I, fun. I, I will. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm you... going to go to the captain's quarters and uh, do inventory. So something bad happened. I'll see you at dinner, Cookie. I mean, you could have some crackers and cheese. Thanks. And you could do so, and he kind of moves you a little towards, like, the corner where he puts his seat. And it's the same seat that Gragdar, like, camps in when he eats in the kitchen. And you could sit here, and he sets a plate in front of you along with a bowl, and he proceeds to, like, put some fresh meats and things on there. He cooks up a nice little meal for you. Cookie, yourself. what are you doing? I don't know what you mean. You just seem like you're hungry. God damn it. <sighs> okay, fine. I like to call it my shark coochery board. <laughs> And you lost me. Fran's gonna get <laughs> No, no, no. And for the first time, you actually... There's a bit of strength behind Ooh. that hand. You need to eat. You look exhausted. I... You look worried. And you look tired. And if you go in there, you're gonna do what you did last time. You counted inventory and stand in a corner staring, mumbling <laughs> to yourself as you count potatoes. How did you know that? <laughs> Because I was the one helping you count the I'm the cook. Right. I thought you were. You know what? It's fine. It's 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 fine. If I sit here and eat, will you let me do inventory later? Probably not. It's already been done. Uh, oh god damn it! You were gone for most of the day, so the crew took it upon themselves to step up. They're supposed to have. Days off. They had days off and they came and back. Shut up, home. woman in my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's off. It's off. Why do you sound like my wife? Because <laughs> I am your wife. <laughs> that doesn't help the situation. <laughs> At least I'm safe inside my head. <laughs> At least I'm safe inside my mind. <laughs> Please just don't wallow. Like, you can think about things. You can wallow. You can... I don't wallow. You wallow. I don't wallow. What do you call standing around counting potatoes looking depressed? Inventory. <laughs> sending them wallowing. What? I have nothing to wallow about. <clears throat> I have a beautiful wife who loves me. <laughs> And Fran's going to take a bite of a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> of course I love you. So it's an issue with the bride. Cookie? Yes? I'm, I'm you sound real bad. He's gonna get back up. <laughs> Cookie's gonna fucking your ass <laughs> Don't make me get Gragnard to magic you. <laughs> to magic me. Better yet, toast. Oh. Also, Beck, you sound really robotic. Oh, one second. You're good now. And okay, you're well. you're going to see Toast and Gragney come on in. Oh, Gragney, you're here too. Make sure that he doesn't <sighs> wallow. I'm not wallowing. And Toast goes, "Can I lick him?" What? It looks like he needs licking. No, 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 I don't look sad. I look, I'm fine. I'm stressed. That's fine. I'm just stressed. Oh my God. Are you sad? 
<laughs> Why are you feeling sad? Because you're sad. I'm not sad. Why? You're not what? happy. I. Okay. Well, are you that's wallowing? The... No. What? <laughs> what I, just, I just want to know what that means. What does that mean? You don't know what wallowing is. Oh god, the robot's back. <laughs> <laughs> And, and you see Gragney, Gragney, uh, Gragney. That's better, like, yeah. Okay. Like, it's just sitting there staring at you. They're wallowing. Uh, what? I am not. You know what? This is, <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. And Toast is going to sit at your feet and nuzzle his head against your hand. And he kind of whimpers as he sits there, oh just trying to comfort you. Toast is going to stare at you like the frog from future uh from Futurama. <laughs> the fucking not blinking at all. Uh, and uh not Chef comforting is, at all. Chef is legitimately <laughs> like overstacking your plate. Okay, well. How does it feel to have people that care for on? <laughs> right. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> um And Cook just kind of looks at you she's like, I'm not, I don't like being forceful, but you are very important to the ship and you're very important to us. Uh-huh. And you're just important. You're very important, Ron. Uh, okay. Sometimes it doesn't feel like you know that. I know that. Well, then I'm wrong, and you'll be able to go count your potatoes when you're done eating your plate. And he puts a couple bit more chunks of cheese on there. <laughs> <sighs> Hello, universe. Can you please skip to Sam meeting her husband for the first time? And you, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and skip <laughs> the three of them staring at you as you eat your plate. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're able to go ahead and do whatever you want to do after you finish your plate. Cookies rule. Um, but uh, Cookie's just going to continue filling her plate. <laughs> I never got really the plate. <laughs> Cookie feels really, really good at like sleight of hand, just like. A... <laughs> but uh, yes, we're gonna jump to Sam. Fran has just left, and you are standing at the bottom of the stairs. What do you do? She's she's gonna try to remember which door Luke said to go through because a lot of stuff was going on. Was it the third or the second door? I know we said third floor, but what is it? The third or the second? I'll just open doors until I find them. And then she's going to, like, kind of excitedly walk upstairs, but also kind of nervous for some reason. Um, is there, like, a mirror or something, like, on the way up? Or something that she can, like, look into? They're not something you can look in through. These are... Uh, fairly heavy duty locks uh, that only lock from the inside. Oh no, I was asking. Um, like, is there like as she's like approaching, like in the hallway, is there like mirrors or or something that she can look she into wants like, to, look to prim herself? <laughs> she's gonna try to prim uh, herself. <laughs> there's not necessarily a mirror or anything. There is a uh, there's a vase, like a, a a fairly dusty vase, but it's made of like silver. That if you if you like dust it off a little bit, you could like kind of see what you look like. Okay, so she's gonna do that, and then she's gonna like try to like position her hair and like do all that, and then she's gonna like, <sighs> okay, and then um, she's gonna go to the top of the stairs or the the third floor, and then open the second door. You open the second door, and there is a bed that looks like it was uh, it's clean, freshly made, and a window, but there's no one in it. Okay, so. It was the third door. Okay, and then she's going to go to the third door. There's nobody in the third door except for a, a red cap who was shirtless. <laughs> oh. Ah. Hi. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm, oh. I, wait, he threw a dagger at me? He threw a dagger at like, the door and it hit the corner. 
Oh, um, so sorry. Um, and then she's gonna close the door. He's in the fifth. Thanks. And then Rude. she's gonna. Fuck. Okay. And then she <laughs> she'll go into the go to the fifth door. And as you go into the fifth door, you can hear some rustling. Um, do you choose to open the door? I do. And as you open the door, you find Garum turning his head really quickly as he pulls rope off his snoot. And he's just like, who the fuck? And he looks at you, first confused. Who? And he tilts his head. Sam? Hi. And then she'll, like, kind of walk over towards him, and, like, she'll notice the rope, like, uh, what were you, what, what's this? What, what are you? I got jumped. <laughs> she, she's gonna and chuckle a little bit, like, and, and you, you got jumped. he stares a little past you, almost fuming. Like, he stares just a little bit past you, just kind of fuming. He's like, I was aware the entire time. You were aware the entire time that they jumped you that you were being jumped? No. Doc drugged me. He drugged and you? Why did he drug you? And then Fran untied and retied me. And then Luke just got awkward. Oh. Uh, that's. That's beside the point. I'll kill them later. And he ever so tentatively just just almost nervously touches your shoulder. And he steps back for a second and he looks you up and down. You're not Osmodeus, are you? No, no, no. God, no. You're not some deity or demon coming to. No, Kieran, it's. My it's... Head. It's me. It's it's me. This is just what the sea turns me into. Like this, but this is me. Ask me something only I would know. No, because if that were the case, then Osmodeus or one of the demons would have already prepped for that. Okay, so how do I how do I prove this? How how do I how do I how how do we do this? It's, it's fine. It's fine. You don't you don't have to. Where's your leg and arm? They they magic. Huh? It's their back. <laughs> Ron's gonna be so pissed. Yeah, he said that he was gonna make this matching stuff for us, and I thought that was really cute. But unfortunately, it's yeah. I'll, I'll have him. Um, I mean, if it'll make you feel good, I'll I'll cut it off, and then we no, can. No, we can no, just... no, 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 no. Like that was mostly a joke. That that was mostly a joke, Karen. I'll I'll ask Ron to make you like a really nice glove or something. He he was excited to. Are you gonna like hug me or something? Like I uh, and he looks like he's tearing up. And there's this moment where you can see he's excited, he's he's happy, but he's also like tearful, and it's a reminder to you that he was also dealing with the fact that he was up until maybe recently in his life has not really expressed emotions, and it's almost like he doesn't quite know what to do. In this moment, but then he does reach out. He does reach out and he slowly hugs you as he just squeezes you tight. He just holds you tight. How long are you back? Until things are done, and then 
I'll take care of what I need to take care of down there. I will be working simultaneously with Blue. I'll be checking in, but things up here are more important. Good. Okay, not not good. Not obviously. I know, I know, I know. It's good. And he... It... I hate to put it this way, it feels like things have gone backwards a bit. If Because he had started to open up to you a lot more. It's still... It's not that he doesn't... It's not that he doesn't uh, want to express it, but he's. You can tell that he's been frustrated and angry and just kind of dealing with stuff. And he just hugs you. He just keeps hugging you. And he. cries he cries but he doesn't let go he doesn't he doesn't let you see him cry he just cries it's good to have my wife back I missed you so much Garam and with that, we're going to call it for the night. Gay. That was a pretty gay place to end it. I think Homo! I it. <laughs> that was some real bass in that, god damn. <laughs> yeah, boy! Rupert! Something. It's a gay Rupert! <laughs> gay Rupert! It's a gay Rupert! I love how you were just like, yeah, the surfing as mom goes back to the ship, and I'm like, no! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I did want to tell Garen that, like, oh, by the way, I met your ex. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. And Ragnar is doing everything in his power to fucking just be like, oop, not run this way. <laughs> Ragnar goes up to check on them, just like he's trying to be a person who checks on people, he's trying to care. I heard I met your ex. He's at the door. Mm, no, nah, I'm good. I don't know. Nah. <laughs> Even I can read that situation. He said, whoop. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, that's the end of this session. And next session, we're going to go ahead and have okay. you guys sail out. Sail next session on the fourth. Oh, no. Oh, Wait, yeah, the fourth. We might just pass away. <laughs> yeah, you right. Yeah, I next, mean, I've next... been saying this since we got to the new park. I'm like, what am I? I, have to say is I just have the nice vibes. Of... <laughs> it's nice to know that that's also a trigger phrase, not just for me and Beck, but for me as well. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, next session's on the fourth. On the fourth. No, no you're right. The fourth. 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 The fourth, yeah, because it's fucking Monday. Oh. Yeah, now it's Monday. Monday. <laughs> So I'm really happy to be back. Thank y'all for having me back. Yeah. I miss y'all very, very much. Yeah. Wow. That's real homophobic. <laughs> You're real homophobic. <laughs> Yay, now we got the crew back together. Yeah. And we can fucking get out of the underdark. <laughs> yeah, we're about to get and real we? we're about to get real mentally ill about it. Watch, gonna leave the underdark. Actually, you guys ended up in the under underdark. I <laughs> will scream. <laughs> it's naval <laughs> armada. It's, it's uh, Ron's gonna be like, well, I guess we live here now. <laughs> the advanced underdark. Everybody has, a, has an accent down here. How <laughs> I can't understand your, your accent. accent. <laughs> Ron is fluent for some reason, despite never being this deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Well, that was a intense Dramatic. session. <laughs> I didn't expect I, I mean, that. I love, I love how we went in there. Hey, I should probably warn you. My ancestor's a little intense. <laughs> Five minutes later. Ah! <laughs> Fire! Me, me 
Meanwhile, <laughs> fucking Gregner is like, I told you. <laughs> also, this is what happens. I, I usually it. pass out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, so this is what happens if I didn't pass out. I think I'm glad I didn't do it right. <laughs> also, what an awkward fucking part for Sam to just fucking. I know. It's like, we're going to do this now. Your, 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 <laughs> we've, had, we've, we've had two situations with us uh, walking in after the meats have been consumed. <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> oh my god! I didn't think about that. <laughs> Ooh, you're dirty. Yeah. <laughs> Followed by violent vomiting. <laughs> Uh, I, I just like to think that, like, uh, anytime dragon meat ever ends up being brought up, even if it's, like, a colloquial term for, like, a meal, like, dragon steak. Sam's like, I'm good. He <laughs> <laughs> right. just gets flashed. I see what it does to people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that in my life. It's all good. <laughs> We're going to have to fucking clue Sam. We're going to have to clue Sam in on so much shit that. Oh, so I've yeah. Also consider like we're I'm, I'm waiting for whenever the Gragnar form come, this Gragnar's form comes out again because it got taller since she's been back. Yep, I'm looking forward to uh, Fron the Bard trying to tell the entire like summary of everything. But, <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. You ask Gragnar to tell it. <laughs> Gragnar would skip Greg. over all the important details and be like, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> you get the spark notes. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so we went down there and we killed them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, him. I forgot that part. You would do the ADHD storytelling that I do where you start telling part of the story like, oh, wait, I have to explain like three other things. Hold oh, on. yeah. Backtrack a little bit. <laughs> so this happened. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Wait, oh, damn yeah, it. I have to explain happened. something else. <laughs> We'll pitch three yeah, hours of getting bring nowhere. Up the Asmodeus thing. <laughs> Wait, what? It's like, oh yeah, and I forgot to bring up Asmodeus. Oh right, we made a deal with. Well, Fraud made a deal with. Osmodeus. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just start over. <laughs> and I and I love the idea of Fraud in the background, like you're doing great, buddy. You're doing great, <laughs> yeah, great buddy. You got. He's just super supportive. <laughs> as, and as you're telling her all of this, she's just thinking like, wow. Time gave me the choice to stay underwater. I, I should have stayed, stayed in the water. <laughs> I chose this. It didn't just be in the water. <laughs> I, like I, like the water. I like to think that Fraun is reenacting everything <laughs> that uh, Gragnar is saying as it happens with the like in, with the uh, image and and the, the lights. So he's just he's like trying to keep up with Gragnar. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Gragnar is literally and... the fir- the personal embody the like physical embodiment of that Charlie Day gif. That oh is- my god! <laughs> now we <laughs> just <laughs> now we just have to get Fran to actually talk about his feelings. <laughs> No I will never about. do it! You <laughs> can't do make it. me! Sorry, <laughs> right, in my head, in my head, it's the, I'll never do it, you can't make me! As there's like a muffin in, in, in Cook's hand, and the dogs are around him trying to snuggle him, he's like, I don't want your love, I want to wallow! <laughs> Give me enough bottles and some... S- <laughs> Let me marinate, leave me alone! <laughs> Give me a couple bottles and enough Luke time, I'll get him to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Not the weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> and Fran's like, screw this. I'm going to hot topic. <laughs> I just picture like everyone being like, you have to talk about your feelings, Fran. No, I refuse. And then Gragnar and him are sitting down. And he's like, hey, yo, you all right? No, I am not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am the opposite of okay. Got brother, Fran, got brother. Like, Man, that sucks. Fran, I want you to know that... <laughs> I have stats for Cookie. Cook, his perception is almost on par with yours, purely because he loves God cooking, but damn. he hyperfixates. That's so, fair. But the fact so he's that also you were mentally you Ill. were the first <laughs> person to show his cooking an actual genuine interest, so he started paying attention to you. So he notices when you wallow when you focus on things, and so he's not crying. <laughs> Wallowing. <he's> <laughs> He is an introvert by through and through, so it hurts him just as much as it hurts you <laughs> to try to do this. I like him. I like that artistic. I like that right artistic. <laughs> I like that artistic short. <laughs> <laughs> 
And would it would it be wrong if I asked him if is you, you are autistic? autistic? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> From there one autistic signs. to another. <laughs> there were signs. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally has his hands in the T-Rex pose. <laughs> How know? did you know? <laughs> I became oh, a chef. Pure, I became a chef purely to hide the T-Rex pose. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> He's like, um, actually, it, I put my elbows in to prevent further cuts and bruises. Thank you very uh, much. Yeah, I'm not autistic. Okay, maybe a little bit. Like, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I went to culinary art school. This is technique. 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 Uh, technique. Technique. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. We'll bust we'll bust about those we'll bust later. Those <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised we have not had a situation with that with the fucking boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got a good crew. Geese says he missed all of us. For now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> For now. Wait till we get to Lake Hill. Arrives at Lake Hill, the ship immediately sinks. Just you're good. <laughs> the whole ship is like, okay, that's it's that, got that shit, fucking. That feels like an omen. That feels like it's an got omen. fucking holes in its ship and all that. It's just fucking. We made it. Yeah. Fucking, fucking all of the merchants. How did you sail that here? <laughs> Sorcery. <laughs> Sorcery. So is Garum the Flying Dutchman? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> We put his leg in the chest, like that's. A- <laughs> <laughs> oh, shitty. Um. All right. Well, I think that's pretty much it. And there here's all go. of our socials chat. You can go there and follow us. Yeah. We're all exhausted. Yeah. I am very hungover, and I've been fighting nausea. <laughs> I've got so some doctor appointments in the morning. Ooh. I gotta work tomorrow. Yay. <laughs> yeah, girl. Yeah, good girl. Session. <laughs> yeah, good session. Exhausting. Welcome it's back, up. Rose. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. I'm glad to be back. I'm just I'm just waiting for this inevitable no, conversation. <laughs> inevitable conversation with Serafina's mom and Gragnar. It is not. Yeah. I, no. yeah. No. I <laughs> want that to happen. I want the conversation. <laughs> Gragnar you know, you know what, Gregor? No, her. if Ron has to talk about his fucking feelings, you have to talk about <laughs> yours. I hope, I hope you know if she quarters him at any point, Ashen Form is gonna get turned on. It's just gonna fly out the window. Like, <laughs> no, this conversation is not. And happening. then she counterspells you. <laughs> <laughs> and he also has counterspell. I counterspell no, right. your counterspell. <laughs> the frog is on the team of discussion. He's like, if I got to talk about my feelings, you do too. Ragnar, et tu prute? <laughs> <laughs> you rat bastard. You lucky. <laughs> Anyone smell his ashen form? <laughs> Franz sniffs it up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my That's god. my best friend. Like, I'll oh protect him at any cost. <laughs> That's fucking terrifying. Uh, Franz at the safest places inside me. <laughs> that is that <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, I will say that she won't force any conversation. Other than what she's already done. Because she's just... She just watched her daughter burst into flames and say it was all for vengeance. And she's like, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling she was in the conversation. I just, <laughs> I'm just putting it forward like it, like as it is. Gragnar's not initiating that conversation whatsoever. <laughs> no. Uh, I could see her wanting to start the conversation to apologize. But also, mm-hmm. she, she knows that there's... Apologies only go so far. Like, you know. Yeah, I don't see Gragnar taking the apology too well. No. Uh, In case was like, is Seraphina turning into Ghost Rider? (laughs) 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 Oh my god. I'm married to Nicholas Cage. (laughs) God, God, I hope not. 
saw I just saw Serafina's character with Nicolas Cage's face. <laughs> oh my god. Jojo, yeah, can you edit that? No. <laughs> no. That's that's worse. In the film version of As Above So Below, Serafina will be played by Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Imagine. Oh fuck. Where is where is uh my folder? Give me a second. Hold on. I don't know it's where is your folder. Stuff. It's in the place with the stuff. In the place with the stuff. In the stuff with the place. There's some the holes in this house. There's some holes. There's some in holes this house. in this house. There's some holes <laughs> in this house. There's some holes in this house. That's not what you're talking Get about. <laughs> To start She's only a hoe for fry. <laughs> I fucking hope so. <laughs> and then we scroll back Except up. Except for sometimes her from... other dead husband, but we no. don't. No. 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 <laughs> and then we scroll back up in chat. What did Franz say earlier? Hold on, I have to fight <laughs> Uh, I'm so glad my partners both lead on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Give me just a second. I got something. What? You got something? <laughs> <laughs> Period, bitch. <laughs> Lose one experience. Well, I'm looking. I don't see anything. <laughs> Fran and Seraphina <laughs> fight. Seraphina's like, that's why you choose Raggedy. And Fran's like, well, that's why your ex-husband's dead. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of shoes he what got on? Got in his dead as hell. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of shoes she got on? God damn it, I fucking love that video so much. God damn it. That's so good. That's some shit I would freaking say. Like, I'm like, I'm like, no, if I get to the point where we're art and when I don't fucking like you and you fucking say some shit, bitch, I'm that person. <laughs> Leave Same. me alone. Same. <laughs> what kind of shoes he got on in his cast? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember that shit. I was just like, God damn. <laughs> it's like those people that are like, st- like say crazy shit online and then someone notices the fucking R.I.P. in their bio. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, you can't talk crazy on the internet like that if you got R.I.P. in your bio. There's savages that are going to say some crazy shit. Like, oh my God. There is this... <laughs> He got the Tims. What does that mean? (laughs) I don't don't remember the full fucking like conversation. I just remember that the girl was talking to this one dude and said something about him being short. And he was like, he was like, you don't know who else is under six foot. Oh man. (laughs) Oh man. <sighs> oh my God. I gotta pee again. I don't want to get up. Piss, piss. Guess he's getting a catheter for Christmas. I know one I catheter. <laughs> well, that's too damn bad. I want a hysterectomy. I <laughs> a hysterectomy and go on your bladder problem. Yeah, it is. Get the melon baller. Get the melon oh baller. My God. <laughs> Start scooping that bitch up like if I've had enough. Who needs a bladder? Yeah, get that shit out of me. I don't need this. You ever like have that one like hear me out character where you're just like I have a new hear me out character but I'm angry about it. Is it the monster from ZZZ? No, it's the monster from a Roblox game. And I'm very <laughs> oh angry about God. it. No, no, no. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I keep liking all the art that people keep making because I'm like, God damn, you, <laughs> you can't do this to me. <clears throat> Morphe, are you still looking for whatever you're looking for? Yeah, give me. They're a giant sea snake. They're a giant sea snake, and they have four arms, and it's dangerous. And I'm angry because it's from a fucking Roblox game. (laughs) And you're like fishy, fishy, fishy. Hold on, there you go. There's a. That's what they look like. Oh, I think I remember you sending something with that. 
Yeah, I keep seeing them, and I'm like, my bookmarks are full of you, and I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> like, how dare you? All right, I got some. You rat bastard. There we go. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I can do more if I if I put more time into it. Than I need to get to you, Dave. Oh this bitch. That's the one where he's dressed as like a preacher. Uh, Perfection. I won't uh, miss, bitch. I won't hesitate, bitch. <laughs> ah, fucking, that is another fucking under. Like, there are so many fucking like memes from Vine that just still hit to this day. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Road work ahead. I sure hope, it, hope it does. does. <laughs> Hurricane Katrina. Katrina. <laughs> More like Hurricane Tortilla. <laughs> Tortilla. <laughs> Or then there, it's Wednesday, my dudes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know the context of that video, but it's so fucking funny. I don't think there is any. I don't think there is. It's just a guy found. dressed up as Spider-Man. <laughs> it's Wednesday, my dudes. It just starts fucking screaming. I'm like, say, bestie. Same. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Wednesday. hop off because I'm starting to get Same. nauseous. Yeah, oh, I'm also nauseous yay, and I gotta pee. Good night, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.